I mean, the last time I talked, I heard about a whole Chelsea rebrand. But if you guys want to go back to your slutty ways going through managers, oh, oh, wow, wow, oh, wow, 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 <laughs> I just asked, what is a register? I swear he said someone. <laughs> Ain't no way. I do it. Once is an anomaly, twice a coincidence, three times is a pattern, four times is juju. That's my saying. <laughs> so I'm sorry. This it's it's which witchcraft is happening. I've had it up to here. I've had it up to here with that team. I've had it up to here with that team. And it's my lead to something very drastic. We'll get there. Doral, we will get there. But all I'm saying is just for you to know, I think I've had it up to here with those guys. So guys, welcome to the Saturday Hangers. You know what it is. This is where we get real. This is where, where we give you that real. Salinkini! So what's going to be on the show? Guys, we're going to talk about um, Harriet. We're going to talk about Harriet Kane. We're going to talk about Tukeli Ban. We're going to talk about Leverkusen and the use of white magic and Jabi Alonso because it gets very real within the Bundesliga. 13 points gets real. 13 points gets real. Um, is, is Kane a loser or is Tuchel a bigger loser admitting de defeat? We're going to break down what's been happening in the Bundesliga. Then we're going to go over to Chelsea. And I'm gonna just be. I'm. I'm gonna keep it, keep it as a start because I'm like I'm. I'm done. I'm done. Let me get that. I'm done. But we're gonna just talk about the pathetic situation because somehow, somewhere, and I, you know, this is actually doy. It's actually doy. It's doy how Chelsea managed to always find a new law. I find that's truly amazing, man. Um. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna also talk about Javi Ball. Javi Ball is cooking. Javi Ball is cooking. We're not going to address Javi Felix's miss. I'm scared for Mbappe because I think Barca are going to dunk on Mbappe. We're going to talk about Javi Ball and just the amazing record since Javi said he's, he's out and whether Barca can actually um, convince Javi to, to stay. What has been happening with this whole Javi Ball and Barca? La Napoli. Napoli got three-piece. They got three-piece and they are garbage. So we're just going to ask a question. Is this the worst downgrade ever? <laughs> is this the worst downgrade ever we've ever seen of a manager leaving a team? And of course, it's the big game. It's a massive game. Of course, Liverpool played Brighton earlier on, but it's Arsenal against Man City, where this could potentially be the title. So we're going to break all that down. So guys, it's a full show for you guys. I'm trying to give you that good sign. Guys, produce cut the check, you, you pricks. Produce cut the check. I've got my produce up in this piece, and I've got my cash nuts, unsorted cash nuts, okay? Cash nuts. They, you know, they make you say what's up. You've been, at, you've been asking for Prudis to cut the check for Barry. Like and these guys have other cut the damn check. Prudis, cut the check, you 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 stingy pricks. Yeah, cut the damn check, bro. This is this is this, 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 this is free promo. Cut the check, Prudis, you 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 pricks. You you need that money, and I'm giving you good quality promo, bro. So uh, I, I think you have more chance of the cash winners sponsoring you, to be honest. Yes, <laughs> yes, screw you, pricks. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 what's it called? Cy Cypressa, what's up? Cypressa, what's up, baby? Cypressa. Okay. Um, so, guys, remember, all of these Hangouts are available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts. So, if you're a podcast metrics, which I'm not, um, this Hangouts will be available on Spotify. Again, I don't know why people just say, oh, put this in my podcast. Do you know how mad the Hangouts are? This isn't a pot. This is it's not a pleasurable listening experience. It's a madhouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called Hangout. But look. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I told you. I was like, why do you want to put this madness on a podcast? But oh no, no. Like in, in case they miss, I want to listen to okay, fine. Look, the streets decided I've put it this way, I've never listened to, to this crap on a podcast because it's it's madness, bro. So this is not a pleasurable listening experience. Hey, what, what, what other podcasts do you have receipts, man? Like, what, <laughs> no, 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 but what I'm saying <laughs> is that imagine listening to just madness, dogs being said, guys screaming, guys shouting. Just, but it's, it's a it's not a podcast. But it is what it is. Fine. The, the streets decided I will, I, I will put it on the podcast for you guys with um, timestamps and everything on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. So, guys, as we said again, you know what it is, guys. Like the vid, subscribe if you're new. And if there's anything you want to add to the show, as long as you know that's prick, half of stone, but it's all oh, that's idiot, daddy ooze, feel free to send in a super chat. Remember, your super chats and your dubinskis help to keep this channel growing and it helps, and helps me 
to pay my energy bills as well as subscribing to Rachel's OnlyFans as well as Mel G's and potentially Vanessa Blues. So thank Mel, you for Mel, your OnlyFans. Mel G, Mel, Mel G, what? probably. Whoa, trust me. Mel G, yeah, yeah, Mel, yeah you know, shout, shout, shout to Mel G. No, shout to Mel G. Shout out to Mel G. Shout out to Ellie, Ellie the Empress. Shout out to Gracie Bourne. Shout out to Francesca Hemes. Shout out to Shout to Kamlitsa. You know what? Let's keep going. Bro, Jason. No, 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 Okay, you know what? Oh, guys, we're not going to do this. Okay. We are, okay. we are not having an OnlyFans section here, bro. We are not having an OnlyFans section here. All I'm saying, though, is You're the one who shout out to Kamlitsa. Shout out to all my girls out there and everything like that. Shout out to the children. Okay, so shout out to Ellie the Empress, man. Woo. Quality, man. So, how you doing? The Pawn Hub is free, right? Bro, I'm supporting talent. I'm supporting the freaking industry, bro. Talent? What? He, he's a scout. you've not seen the videos that I've seen, bro. Uh, <laughs> videos I've seen. That's real time. That's there. Okay, that's let's go. No, 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 no. We're moving. We are moving. We are moving. Okay, we're moving. We're not. We're not naming and shaming here. So, 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 guys, no, um, no, don't do that clip. This. So, guys, now. Let's let's now get this let, let's now get this on the roll, man. Let's get this on the roll, man. Diddly, and shout out to Maria Ari Arigeni as well, man. Shout out to Maria Ari Bro, Arigeni as well. Shout out to Maria Arigeni as well. Bro, first of all, I'm just shouting. Uh, guys, I'm shouting out to the times. Can I shout out to, shout, shout out to Maria Arigeni, man? Shout out, shout out, man. Shout out, man. Um, I'm shout out to, uh, what's yeah, supposed to kill? Munifa Yansen as well. Munifa Yansen, shout out to Munifa Yansen, man. Do, doing shout, her thing, man. So, okay, so guys. Okay, so guys, it gets real. So guys, buy Munich. Now, here's the thing, guys. Leverkusen, if you lose this, I'm I'm quitting for football. 24k, baby. 24K. So, wait, wait, hold up. Don't Girona have to win as well for you no, to get no, the 24k? No, Girona's no, not winning. Girona's not winning. Hey, thank you. I'm Bruce. Right I'm not living. Hold on. I'm not living a life where a guy has 24k that I know. That's not happening. <laughs> I don't want to know someone who's won 24k in my vicinity because, actually, guys, Bro, I'm a born hater. That's some next level player hater. Man. Yeah. That's some next level. Yeah. No. Bro, Why is it so? Yes, I'm a hater. Of course, I'm jealous. I'm also my man envious. 100. percent Now, wow. The and thing though is this, guys. Not in that hold on. We'll, 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 look, we'll we'll get those bomb masses in, in in blue very soon. But here's the thing, guys. So now, Liverpool. If you mess this up, you're, so I, I did my Miss Small. What a baby! What a baby! Michelle shouts to Miss Smallwood. So, four, I think no, it's three dubs, and they say, What's up? So, Leverkusen would need to either eat to have four L's or six draws. And this is assuming Bayern win their game. And this is assuming that Bayern have to basically win all the games. So, anytime that Bayern drop any points, those games get less. So, this is like, that is why. Now, people may say that to, okay. There's so many th things to go through, but let me go through this step by step. Tuchel said, you know what? I have forfeited the title. So I want to ask about that maybe in a separate topic, as in, was Tuchel right to put out the statement saying that he's already considered the title? I'm going to leave that as a, as, a, as a section afterwards. My situation here is this. I think for Leverkusen, this is amazing. It's not done yet. Now, I'm not <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> guys, guys, it's not, guys, not, it's not done yet. No, guys, put this way. Guys, if Level could screw this up, do you know how crazy that stream would be? That would be a crazy stream. Especially, yeah, I'm holding out for... No, no, I'm holding out for one of the GOAT emergency streams if these guys mess this up, bro. So, but keep it real. I don't want them to mess us up. I want them to, I want them to, to, to say, what's up? So, I think that um, for Level Cousin, they're close to history here. And I think what they've done is absolutely amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been absolutely incredible. Um... But for Bayern Munich, and my take here is this is that it's all it's now about all about all about the UCL. It's all about the UCL now. And I think if you and you know what I, I believe as well, the way Leverkusen won affected Bayern. I think it did. I think it did. The manner because we're losing, because if Leverkusen had dropped points, Bayern would have won 100 percent So it's not about that Leverkusen won, it's how they won. That's would have been such a psychological beatdown because you're like, oh my. So and you could even say that bands of their body language in the game, they were not really up for the game. Whereas Dortmund were like, bro, we need to beat these guys. I mean, come on. Guys, okay, so someone tell me, I think, is it 2016? Since last they beat them in their home ground. Basically, it's been a longest time. It's been 10 years. 
it's been it's 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 been ten years since this guy's been them on the home ground. So I think you could tell that Dortmund were Dortmund were very up for the game. Ban looked like a team defeats. They were like, you know what, give up and everything. Because remember, this is now I know players have changed, but this is mostly a group who all they've known is winning this this league. That's all they they've known. <laughs> so all they've known is winning this league. So they're in a situation where like, oh, we just actually recognize this about. We're not winning, and we are so far away. It's not like, if we're, like we're in a competition like they were with Dortmund. We are so far off. This is new ground for these players because they're not used to this. And what's going to... I have a UCL narrative, but I'll, I'll say that from there. So let me come to um, Core. Wait, is Core here? Or he's, he's here? He's, he's no, he's not. I don't see anybody here. I don't Cole. see Bricks. Core, this, yeah, this is Core. This is Core. This is Core. What's up? What's up? All right, cool. Oh, wait, what? Whoa. Cool, talk to me. Whoa. Whoa. Um, Whoa. Congratulations, AJ, for jinxing my... Um, I, I did it for sorry. the sake of football. I did it for football integrity. Yeah, yeah, good and, job. and I'm not good ashamed, job. and I'll do it good again. Job. I did it for football integrity. Good job, good job. For the sake of Bundesliga integrity. You were jinxed. Um, no, 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 sense. Anyways, um, so the what's the question, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I, 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 I just no, no. Just okay. Were you okay? Okay. Were you disappointed by Bayern's? Um, <laughs> were you disappointed by Bayern's digital display? That's, that's what I wanted to know. Barry, that's crazy. Barry, that's crazy. Yeah. No, um, of course. Of course, it is. But it's normal. This whole season, we've been playing like this for a while. I, I told you. Like even after the game against Mainz, eight one, the five one against Darmstadt, it, it it wasn't convincing. Hh, my my problem, and this has been my problem for a while now, and I I I kept telling people this is, um, we are getting the chances, but we are not converting them, and this is this was the same story today. This kid that's on my AVI right now. I don't know what to say anymore because it's like, you know, he hasn't really like if if he can if he can show this, I will forgive him if he can show it against Arsenal in the quarterfinals. That's the only time I'm gonna forgive him. But if <laughs> if he goes on and then he loses to um, Arsenal and he shows this type of performance, oh, then he's just a wasteful player to me because. He's a useless player. And Bayern fans, Bayern Twitter fans have been riding his dick. They've been riding Sonny's dick. Whoa, 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 been, whoa, no, no, whoa, I'm going to be honest. Whoa, I'm going to be honest. No, no, let me say my piece. Let me say my piece. <laughs> let me say my piece. Damn. Let me say my piece. They've been riding. They've been riding. They've been riding Musiala's dick. They've been riding Sonny's dick. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. No, no, no. no, no, no. Cool. <laughs> What the hell? Give me out. Give me out. You're not doing that on a PG show. Wait, this is a PG show. No, no, this is a PG show. No, 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 no. We don't know. We don't need to say any elaboration. Last, no, 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 no. Cool. That's your final warning. Next thing is going to be a second year and going to be a sense of relax. I understand. But let me let me land, right? Let me land. Let me land. Why? The reason why I am saying all this is because, bro, I have zero patience for how young you are as a player or how you're... Tw- I have zero patience. I don't have time. HH, I don't have time, bro. I need a CL. I need a, I need to see a CL. I need to see I need to see someone like do something in a big game. I need I need to win something, bro. And and these guys, these guys Especially Harry Kane is one of them. He is he is for me the biggest curse I've ever seen in football. How do you have you have you have four or five headers, right? This guy has four or five headers. Do you know what this guy does? He, he the 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 really good chances where he could have scored the goal, he heads it wide. He he heads it wide. And then in the last minute, he comes up and he shows up. That that's my problem with this team. So we need to know how to HH, we need to know how to win in a manner where 
you know, yes, we can win like how we won against Mainz 8-1, but we also need to know how to win when we are down by two. How do we come back? Yeah, okay, so, 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 once once there's space, I'll let you in. Just like there's no space, but once there's space, I will I will let you in. So, Bayern, once there's space, Bayern used to have okay. that age. Bayern used to have oh, that. We just throw out they... call. No, 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 don't throw me. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, 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 actually, no, 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 no. I've actually meant to say that's under my my, my breath, so I should say it's lower next time. So, no, 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 I meant to say it's under my, my, my breath. I didn't know people would, would hear. Okay, look, look, call. My, okay, call. Are Leverkusen going to, are they actually going to end this season on beats? Because, oh, because it's 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 Bayern, they're having a historic season. It, it, it's over, bro. There's no way Leverkusen's losing this next four or five games. Like, it's not happening, bro. Like I don't. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. I don't. It's not about winning the league. That looks very likely. Are they losing it? Are they going unbeaten? Or do you think? They're oh, gonna lose? no, no. They're going to lose to West Ham. They're going to lose to West Ham. I, I know they're going to lose to West Ham. Are they, no, no. Are they going unbeaten in the Bundesliga? In the league? Oh, in the Bundesliga. Um. Yes. 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 They'll go unbeaten in the Bundesliga. So, 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 do you think Dortmund can beat them? Nah. Sorry. Nah. Sorry. I think Terzic is a good coach, but it, look, it, it was it was because of Bayern being so bad. To, um, Dortmund won against Bayern. It, it's not. It, don't read too much into HH. It's it's just a it's a hologram. Yeah, it's a hologram. A hologram. Okay. Um, yeah. Waske, Wayson, um, Leverkusen, and um, the whole scenario with 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 Bayern and your boy Kane. Uh, look, HH, I'm, I'm gonna put this out there. If they somehow, if they somehow by some way bottle this, it's oh, it will be, it will be actually be disgusting, bro. You'll never see my face on this channel ever again, um, because one, there's there's too much money on the line, and two, <laughs> I, I, I can't I can't I can't co-sign a team like that, and then they go and they go off and do that. So, no, uh, it'll, it'll you, be you'll, off, you'll never see me again. Um, the league is done. I mean, I, I said it was done uh, at least a month ago. Um, oh, so, oh so, sorry, sorry. By the way. I ain't cause on inside press. These peanuts stink. They are, they're yeah, trash. Sorry, continue. Well, I mean, you said, you said they're not, you said No, no, no. They're, 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 they're trash, bro. Trash. This guy said it was not even salted. So I don't know where the fuck you got that. No, no, wait, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Shout out to um, Kirkland's on salt as well. Freaking amazing. I don't know what this, I don't know what this trash is. This is, this is garbage, bro. Nah, There's some also because they're better. They gotta be sold. How you no, 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 they don't have to be. It doesn't matter. So sodium tax, sodium tax. Continue, continue, continue. Sodium tax. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, the league's done. Um, shout out to Dortmund, and they they win an insignificant game against Bayern. Um, as they as they do, the shame they can do that last. Well, week. well, it was um, significant for them. Look at how hot well, they, they yeah, celebrated those. So. Yeah, well, well under them, but they could have had a league title last season. So, um, K, look, but for me personally, the, this instead of Bayern, I think all eyes on on Kane. Um, because that stream at the end of the season for Harry Kane, that's that's going to be a very brutal stream. Uh, so, you're, so, okay, so you're assuming that they don't win the UCL. Oh, come on, H's. That, I, 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 I don't. So, so, so you're so you're denying that the narrative does not exist. What what narrative? Messed up Diffy Pokal, messed oh, up no, no, in, no. The, in the league. No. Tuchel is is a bomb, and Summer through a miracle. In the most improbable way, they win the, the UCL. We've seen stories like this before. Mm, no, nah, I, I just, I just, I mean, I don't see Bayern beating any of the top teams left in the UCL. I just, I look, agree. It, 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 I it agree. is the UCL, and um, Abby, relax. You you beat a team called Lion Lunik. Let's just let's chill, but continue. Keep cooking, keep cooking. It, it, it is it is the UCL, so you you never know. But um, I just don't see this Bayern team doing anything, and. For me, going into the Euros, Kane's Kane's got a very important year ahead of him because um, what happens this year will have a huge impact on what his legacy will look like by the end of his career. Because um, you cut you you go you go from a trophyless team, and the whole idea was it's Tottenham, it's a Tottenham gene. That's why he can't win trophies. Exactly. Then you, exactly. Then, you then you go to Bayern, and I said this to people when you sign for Bayern Munich. The part of the lure in the contract is you're guaranteed a league title. That's they, yeah, that's they, they that's it, the part of the whole deal, bro. They, they literally put it on the contract. Damn. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> they literally put a four way call is crazy. I mean, anyways, that's an interesting um, call. Yeah, that is that's zoom, zoom in it, man. Um, after hours must be crazy, but anyway, uh, so, so uh, <laughs> what's it like backstage? Uh, uh, part the, of the, the, the law okay. is on in the contract, it literally says guaranteed Bundesliga sign for us. Um, so for him to go off and bottle the league, bottle the league cup, um, and then obviously the UCL. There's there's no there's no excuse for him and there's there's no coming back from that, um and then, and the rest of the season just rise on the Euro so more than Bayern this is this is this is all on this is all on Kane all eyes are on Kane because that's that stream at the end of the season when 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 this guy bricks everything up for the season I don't I don't care about the goals he can score as many goals as he want he can break Lewandowski's record for all I care I actually don't care. Um, Bro, this guy is really Keep talking, keep talking. No, no, no. I, no <laughs> this I vouch for. What's it called? Tropical <laughs> Son caught the check. Tropical Son caught the check. Now, this they're I vouch not, for. They're not cutting no check, bro. They're this, yes, they are. Tropical Son caught the check. Caught the check. Keep talking, keep talking. Don't uh, wait, wait man left the stream to get, go get some nuts. That's Diddy uh, behavior. No, no, no Diddy, man. No Diddy. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> look, for me, Kane can go off and break Lewandowski's goal record. He can do what maybe he's already broken it. I don't know. But to be honest, I'm not even. I haven't even kept up with this guy's goal scoring antics in the Bundesliga because I actually don't care like that. Because um, that actually means nothing. Um, if this guy doesn't land a title and the only title left is UCL, it's an LHH and it's an L on his on his on his resume. Um, and as England captain, that's a big big problem for him going forward. And and his well, his legacy is going to be taunted after this if, if he doesn't win anything with Bayern. It's See, that's what gonna... you're making it illegal because it's true. I have learned to football, never assume. We're assuming that Bayern won't win the UCL and England don't win the Euros. Bro, wait, uh, Bayern, edited, no, no, edited. no, look, so Bayern are, are an outside shot of winning the UCL. It's, but it's not impossible. It's unlike it's not impossible. Aren't England the favorites to win the Euros? Second favorite, second, second favorite. favorite. Amongst one of the favorites to win the Euros. Now, we know that England don't know how to win a trophy and they're not a footballing giant. But still, you are one of the teams most likely to win these Euros and they have an outside... You still have a, a chance, a punch chance of winning the UCL. So it ain't done yet. But it's, no, but so I don't want to rise Kane's fates yet until this season is over. Because we can all... See, if they don't win the UCL, we can have a domestic stream of like, wow, um, you went to Bayern, and the season you went to Bayern is the first time they've been trophyless since 2012. So we can say that. Wait, is is Tottenham in contention for any trophies this season? No. No. Oh, okay. No. Well, yeah, least, yeah, least, yeah, least, yeah, 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 that'd have been crazy. Yeah, that'd have been crazy. At least, at least at the dub. So. Yeah, yeah, that no, 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 that'd have been crazy, bro. That'd be crazy. And uh, what's it called? Um, more money, miss. What are you saying, bro? Kane, Bayern, and Leverkusen. Listen, um, as as much as I. I I love laughing at Kane and I want to crash it on Kane. Th this is more too cool. Like, if we're being honest, this is more on too cool. That UCL, that, well, I'll say CCL, that CCL he won in 2021, put him in a conversation of manager that he was never in. Like, if we're being honest. Speak I mean, Core vouched for this guy. I, I, I don't know what Core was watching. I mean, how can Bayern Munich, all right, let's say, for argument's sake, top five club in the world, alongside Liverpool, Man United, AC Milan, Barcelona, Real Madrid, they sit on that table. How can they be one of those clubs and they don't even have a top 15 manager in the world? Think about that. Because... I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna entertain the the best manager of, of this generation in terms of Pep, Klopp, Ancelotti, Simeone. Forget those guys. He's not better than Emery. He's not better than Arteta. He's not better than Postecoglou. He's not better than Enrique. He's not better than Inzaghi. He, he's he's not better than um, Thiago Motta. Simeone. Arteta. Simeone. Arteta. Pep. Klopp. Uh, yeah, I said Arteta as well. What are you waiting for what? me to say? Poch. He is better than Poch. 
<laughs> Michel. Uh, I, I Michel. Face from Hirona. No, there's Michel. Do you know there's so many managers that you can name that are better than Tuchel? Tuchel's not even a top 15 manager in world football. That UCL carried him into a conversation. No. That he Wait, hold up. You're to. honestly telling me that Arteta is a better manager than the Tuk. All right, ask Cor, um if you could take either one of them at your club right now, which one would you take? Oh, look, 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 for, forget him. Ask, look, ask, the well. Messi, ask her car game. Bro, he's, he's, he's a buying correspondent. Respect, respect. <laughs> no, 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 no. My thing I think is, the look, real question is. No, 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 no. My thing here is, look, he took Pietro to a UCL final. That happened. And it's the only UCL final that they've made. Say what you want, say what you will. Oh, well, he still won the UCL with a Chelsea team that Lampard tried to destroy. So those things happened. Wait, H-H, who got, who got okay, H-H. H-H. Question, 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 real question. H-H. Hold on. Question, real quick. Okay. All right, go on then. No, Black who do you choose? Roberto Di Matteo. Yeah. Who do you choose, HH? Roberto Di Matteo or Thomas Tuchel? Both won Champions League for Chelsea. Who do you choose? Tuchel? I mean, no, that's too no that's Tuchel, too. of course it's, it's Tuchel. Like, bro, what did Di Matteo do after that fairy tale you still think? Nothing. So Di Matteo was oh, never a good manager because he literally had no career. I have a better question. I have a better question. All right, mm. HH, would you take Tuchel back at Chelsea? No. So all because I wouldn't take him back at, at Chelsea, it doesn't mean that... I now believe that Ateta is a better manager than him. I wouldn't. I who wouldn't would take Ateta. Who would you prefer at Chelsea? I mean, there's ten managers better than them. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, yeah. no. No. I mean, to be honest, neither. Hansi Flick is free. No, answer the question. Answer the question. My okay. question isn't. Would okay. You nuke. Okay. Nuke to my head. Um, Ateta or Tuchel? And answer. If no, 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 I will take the Tuchel if it comes with with Bram. It has to be a two for one what? package. What are you doing? If it comes with Brown, oh, if it comes with Brown. No, because no, bro. Because nah, that package gave me UCL. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. That, that package gave me so. So, so if it's if if you could give me a, because because I'm sorry, nuke to my head, then I don't bro, know. I'll I'll jump for, out the window. For, forget drop forget that ball criminal. Bram is on the run with Diddy, man. Forget that guy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's a two for one package. I wanted as a as a two for one package, bro. Also, by the way, guys, Callisto, what Callisto? That's what she did is messed up, bro. And we all know what she did, but Callisto, that, that's messed up. That's the greatest like, photo of really all time, up. man. That's, that's the greatest pick of all time. That, so, I don't know what says that it's me, bro. Okay, so what's it called? It looks like you. You sure about that, man? Sure. Wait, okay, wait. How are guys so quick? How are guys so quick with this stuff, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this is best, yeah. guys. This is best up, bro. That's just best up, guys. guys that ain't me, <laughs> guys. That that ain't no, me. That's 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 that is not me, bro. That is not me, bro. That's you. That's you. Oh, that's you. That is you. If you're on OnlyFans, you're definitely at a DD party. No, no, no. That's that's not me, man. That's not me, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hey, that FaceTime picture proved it. <laughs> no, so okay, so um, so okay, so so my, so money is you're saying that this is all took that Kane is not to blame at all. No, Kane Kane is to blame, obviously. That like, Kane hasn't performed under big moments. I've I you, you remember my rant from last month talking about how he is very much small game. I I still maintain that opinion, but losing the Bundesliga, that's more on the manager because you're not playing big games every week. You're playing up against um, VFL Bochum and and Munchen Gladbach. You're playing against teams like that, and I'm sorry, Bayern Munich are better than teams like that. And the reason why I say Tuchel is not a top fifteen manager in the world is because all these other managers that I named, when they play teams that they are better than, they implement their style. He's reacting and playing a style of football to counter what Dortmund have. But you have better players than Dortmund. Impose your style onto the game. Dortmund don't have a player as good as Kane. They don't have a player as good as Coman. They don't have a player as good as Musiala. They don't have a player. They don't have a midfielder as good as Kimmich. They don't have players of that quality. But you're playing a style of football to react off of what they're doing. HH, you're being disingenuous if you actually believe that Tuchel will ever be a top coach within the next three to three to oh, no, five no, 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 look, I think, this look, guy's done yeah look i think at the top level he's done yeah like when you just look at recently it don't look good so we're gonna keep it start like if you just look at recent events and stuff it just doesn't look good like it looks bad <laughs> it looks bad so 
you know? And, and they change. The thing is, is that if, if Bayern Munich lose to City or Real in the semis, people actually, people will just say, do you know what, Bayern Munich are not as good as City or Real. So you understand how they lost. HH, if Arsenal end their season on <laughs> April 9th... No, 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 no. Ken is going to be a laughing stock no, 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 in North London for his bro, team. Is it, so, that's what that's good at, bro. If Arsenal dunk on Ban and Kane, bro, bro. But Arsenal and unfortunately, I see it coming. Season, that's really bad. For a club the size of Bayern Munich, you can't let Arsenal end your season. Like, all they have is the UCL. And the thing is, that they're on the difficult side. So, so wait, hold on. So, so, so my name is, do you consider yourself a worm? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what this guy's talking about. What kind of question is this? If, if, if anyone actually believes Tuchel is I'm confused. Top, then, uh, do you know what? I'm Wait, what ask, is that name? Let's, let's ask everyone around the panel. Would you take Tuchel at your club? Uh, Hell, no. Hell, Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Um, Wait, well, okay, so hold on. Okay, so nobody would take the, the, the Tuchel for the U. Guys, if okay. Ban win this UCL... No, this no, this no, clip no, will look crazy. No, 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 no. No, it, that, no, 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 hold on. If Bayern win the UCL, you guys will look every crazy. Competition. HH, football is not just the UCL. It is every competition. My question was not, would you take him for the UCL? My question was, would you take him at your club? And again, zombies, would you take him at your club? Hell no. J2S, bro, if he, bro, if he coached my club, I'm jumping out the window for real. J2S. You would never see me on his panel ever again. <laughs> J2S, wow. would you take him? Uh, uh, let's... Uh, no, we got Simeone, the best manager in the world, man. Like, Black Seal, would you take him at Real? Are you are you fucking crazy? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's no man. <laughs> guys, come on, someone be different. Someone yeah, be different. Yeah, Jim, no, Why are you guys like all Jim, sheep? Yeah. Someone be different. Make it a, a debate. Someone be like, different. Bro, like Jim, Bro, if he shows up at Real Madrid, I, I'm out. Why is K? Would you take him at Man United? Bro, put it put it this way: the Taliban rejected him, so I don't think anyone would take him. <laughs> In, hold on, hold on. In fact, Cole, would you keep him at Bayern Munich? Hell yeah. Cole, would you, <laughs> Cole, would you, would you keep Tuchel at uh, uh, Bayern? Okay, look at this guy. Actually, now, wait, you wait, you hold up. I want, wait, hold up. I want to ask a quick, a quick, quick, quick. So, now, um, this was opening it to, to, to the panel, man. So, Tuchel came out and said that, congrats to yeah, Leverkusen. It's over. it's over. So, Barry, weak move? Or he's just being real realistic. No, he's being realistic. He knows it. The players know it. Everybody knows it. So why give false hope and big up the, this whole title race one? We know it's over. It's been over for a minute, but today was just a confirmation that it's over. So, so as like, so let's say you played for Bayern, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be angry or unhappy that your manager has. With the white flag before it's mathematically over. I mean, they're gonna get rid of him in not long, so you know, there's no emotion that as a player that I would feel towards this guy because I'll never uh, play under him ever again. But right now, it's just a matter of uh, still being in shape for the UCL in a couple of days. Um, Zombies, do, do you agree that Tuchel was right to say that it's, it's over, or does that show that he's a loser and a prick? He was right. I mean, HH, like the league, the league is finished. So it's like at the end of the day, you gotta recognize a club. You gotta recognize that Leverkusen is the better team at this stage. And then it's like two now. On top of that, they're on the verge of winning it. So I mean, if it was me, I I would congratulate him. Like put it like this: if you know you're gonna lose the league, if you know you're gonna lose the league, then on top of that too, Leverkusen beat them twice. So it's like, yeah, I would, I would congratulate you. It's like, it's nothing you can do. Oh no, oh, no, oh, no. The, the first game was a draw. Second game, Leverkusen beat them. Well, yeah, yeah. So if you, yeah, so pretty much, if you, if you knew that your contenders beat you, then it's like you, you got to, you, you got to take the L and be one with the L. Like, let's just put it like, let's just face backs. Like Tuku fucked up this season. You fucked up. Um, so, so Alex, do you, do you agree with with that? that Tuchel and Ban, it's 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 you're you're happy for a club of this stature to give up with the, the white flag and say, yeah, it's over. Be, be, before they before it's mathematically done. Um, 
Could it be like a mental? See, 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 I'm, I'm a little bit with Gatlock. So, because Alex, before you go, my thinking is that they know, know. They, they probably know it's over. He knows it's over. But Bayern Munich, what that club is and everything, you don't give up until it's mathematical. You say nothing. If you ask, like, okay, it's, it's unlikely, it's very unlikely, but we just have to keep on pushing. But to say, congrats, Leverkusen, well done, before mathematical over as a Bayern manager, for me, that's a weak move. Now, if you're any other manager or something, oh, that's fine. But as a Bayern Munich manager, a team who won this 11 times in a row and a club of your stature, especially in Germany and in the world, basically, if I'm the manager, I am never saying this in, in public, never. It is. It is. In, in private, I'm like, guys, yeah, look, let's just vibe up. But in public, heck no. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay, so, so Alex, do you agree You agree or disagree with Tuchel doing this? No, I disagree. Like, for Bayern's stature, like you said, um, like, he shouldn't be talking it, saying it to the media, to the public. Um, but but my question is, like, could it also be, like, a like mental trick to put more pressure on Leverkusen and, let's say, somehow they bottle it and then they find a way to win it by Munich? Doesn't, no, no, it won't work. That doesn't work because, because Alex, here's the thing, though. He is right. Alex, 13 points, 80 games to go with a team who have not lost a single game of this season. So, Leverkusen, I think for Leverkusen, I don't, it can never affect them because they already know that they've been so much better and they have been at such a high level. They know that, bro, it's fully in our, in our hands now. So, yeah. I, so, for me, I think for Tuchel, I think, in my view, if, especially Alex, you, I think you are right in the sense of UCL. That he's maybe trying to just sort of G them up, lower them as underdogs for the UCL. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shush. Alex, continue, Alex. Yeah, I kind of agree with your analysis with that. Um, but it seems like now i thinking like he's like really given and given up on this title, yeah. Uh, but again, I kind of I agree with you. Um, where you should just tell it to your players and um, stuff like that being seen now, like like to the media. And yeah. um, what's it called? Black Seal. Agree or, or did disagree with Tuchel saying that it's over already in 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 public. Actually, okay. So so okay. So oh, perfect. Samasi. Oh, good. So Samasi. So I'm make best remember. There are kids watching. This is a PG show. This is a PG show. Samasi, this isn't Samasi. Samasi, this isn't Monday. Samasi, Samasi, this isn't Samasi. This isn't this isn't Seven or American Beauty. This is this is Star Wars. This is a this is PG thirteen. You know what? Screw it. This is you. Samasi, the hangers hangers are rated you. They're rated E for everyone. They're rated E for everyone. Monday is rated NT seventeen. This is an issue. PG-14. Guys, I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, a sellout. This is, era, man. Attitude I'm trying to sell out. I'm trying to sell out. This is, this is a family show. I'm selling out. This is a family show. PG-14. So, Smashy, keep them, as much remember, any bad word you say, you are saying this to a five, six-year-old, so I can actually prosecute no, you for Samasi, child abuse. Hey, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This panel is great. PG-14, your expression is advised. No, 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 no. So, Samasu, keep that in mind. If you say anything bad, I will prosecute you for child abuse. Go. What? Just say it in German. You no, Didi. No, Didi. Continue. Samasu, go for it. Your name is the kid. Samasu, if, 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 <laughs> if, if you start speaking in German, Samasu, I'll, I'll give you a yellow. Go for it, Samasu. I think this game broke me. Oh, wow. I'm actually <laughs> really... It is, it's not funny. I'm actually depressed. I'm really, really depressed on the state of my club. First of all, the game is lost on Tuchel. This guy started started a midfield pivot of Lima and Goretzka. This is pure terrorism, okay? Pure terrorism. This is so bad. We, are, we have been so bad all season. And this was this, some of these players besides Kimish have no mentality at all and didn't care about the game. And we saw that in their uh, performance. There was no passion, nothing at all from the players. And fan 
God took her is leaving at the end season because he's one of the worst overrated manager I've seen ever. I want to congratulate Leverkusen for the for the uh, great season they deserve to win the Bundesliga. Let's face it, they are probably go invincible and they deserve that. And I am just depressed. I, I have nothing to say anymore. I have said it all. Tuchel is doesn't know how to uh, uh, has has no game plan, has no philosophy, nothing at all. Some of these players, Goretzka, Janapri, even Zane should be sold. We need a new start. We need a good manager with the philosophy. We need the re it's so much damage. The scene has done so much damage to Bayern's reputation as a good club. So it's just depressing. So, 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 so I want to know. So, I agree to disagree. So, Tokyo coming out and saying that in public, it's over. Congratulations He's to, to Leverkusen. So, 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 you disagree with him do, so, I'm doing that? Don't do it in public. If you can think it for yourself, don't do it in public. He's an idiot. That's all. He's an idiot. I can't. I can't wait to get rid of him. Alonso is staying. So we have to compete against Vets Alonso from Pong next season. They're probably going to win it next season. I don't... I'm not okay, General Cool. I'm not... I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really like, depressed. This is probably like the most oh. depressed I've seen. It's about to like, there's no swearing, no hypertrophy. So I think this is actually really emotions, bro. Wow, this is real. This so is I, 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 I think to go finally broke Sebasti. To go finally broke Sebasti. I feel bad, bro. No, 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 Yeah, me too, yeah. Um, what's it called? Mods, can you please watch the chats, please? Especially for people that are making Bomber's comments, please. Mods, do your work. But yeah, so, Smassy, continue. Smassy. <laughs> I hope the board and our, uh, and our new, uh, new directors, who we able, who we bought, choose the right manager and, and sells a lot of these players, especially Goretzka, and Lima, and they should be focusing on some of the young players like Pavlovic, who's really good, and actually good DM for his age. I think in the next few years he can really develop, and Misala and etc. They should be the focus for the future of Bayern and sell of sell of the old players who are not fit for Bayern right now. Um. So, Waske, Tuchel. By the way, I wanted to say of Harry Kane, he's such a disappointment. Such a disappointment. Even even after all those goals, you still no. say he's a disappointment? Yes. 95 million, not the hundred, but still. He paid so much money. It's a big game against Dortmund. And he has a he missed the set the HH. Yeah, you know, I saw it. Yeah. Very clean yeah. for you. If he won, if he uh, didn't miss it, it would be 1 1. And I think we'll probably win that game because every time we draw with Dortmund, they, they have no mentality when they lose it. So, I, it's this team, I has besides Kimmich, Miller, Neuer, the young Pablo Witch and Musella, he, and maybe Kane, if he gets some balls, they should be all be sold. Wow. Okay, so so what's it called? Um, so Wise Game, Tuchel, right or wrong move to publicly consider the title? Um, I, I just don't think it's a good look, regardless of what stature your club is. For your manager to come out and publicly say, um, uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Let's say, let's say it was, Chelsea. let's say, level, okay, okay, let's say Leverkusen and Dortmund were fighting for the tie title, and Dortmund were, Dortmund were in the position that Leverkusen were in, and so, yeah, so the Dortmund were in the position Leverkusen were in, Leverkusen were in the band's position, and the Leverkusen manager says, Con, Congrats. I'll be like, You shouldn't really do that, but I'm like, you're being realistic because it's like 13 points 
eight games to, to, to go. Look at how well they are playing. Everyone already knows. Because again, Tuchel is right. Nobody think he's wrong. Like you're right because of how things are going. It is very likely that he's going to win. So for a Leverkusen or a double manager, I still don't like that. But I'm like crazy. My thing most is not about whether I'm for or against it in a vacuum. Is that coming from a Bayern Munich manager? But it's no, crazy. I, 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 he, he's, I, I, he's not going to be in the institution not long ago. Like they're going to get. No, 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 no. But but no, no, Barry is true. But you're still employed by that institution. So Barry, well, that's even worse. So you're not saying that like, oh, I can say because I'm already going anyway. So screw it. Let me just come and say. And, and no club and no top institution will hire him afterwards because no top institution will allow a manager yeah. to say that. So yeah, and, yeah. So, so, and I said I'm going to say, and then, so that's all point. So for Tuchel now. If you're if you're not saying that, oh, I can say this because I'm already going away, that actually is a bad character trait. So you're like, eff it, who cares? Well, we're done. I'm not even going to be here anyway. I'm like, nah, that's not a good look, bro. That's trash. But Trey, what's good? Yeah, look, I just don't, I just don't like the idea in competitive sports, people coming out and before before it, before it's mathematically all said and done, you should, me personally, you shouldn't just be conceding like. Like, but that's a if we're being real, that's just a bitch move because you still got you still got um the UCL to play. The league is all right, it's whatever, it's cool. But you still you still want to galvanize your players to do something. I don't I don't get the idea of reverse psychology. For me personally, I, I don't know about UHH, but thirteen points behind in the league, it's a little bit too late for invoke reverse psychology in, in, in into that. Oh no no no, oh, no 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 no. You're, you're basically done. So. But 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 is he doing this to reverse psychology for the UCL? I don't he know. could be. He could be. I mean, honestly, HH, the UCL is all is really uh, is really what they have to focus on now. The league is over. Here's yeah. the thing, though. Guys mm. like Neuer and Kimmich, like, I don't, I don't think they take this guy seriously. To be honest, no. For for them to even care about him using reverse psychology, juju, whatever it is, like, I, I don't think. So they so, actually, actually, so, cause so, do you think it was a bad idea for Ban to announce he was leaving so early? No. So no, because, because remember, like it, when the news, because remember when the news broke, to I to galvanize the team. It, it, no, 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 but but, see, but it, that's it, the but I said that's a, that's a bad one. move because once you, the difference with Klopp and Javi is they are actually liked. Even if so, no, Javi yeah, is yeah. a perfect example for Javi. Even if the results were not good, he was still the, liked by the group. The club, liked. and and as an owner, yeah. you know the thing in the dressing room. Everyone knows that. The dress room was just destroyed. So that's it's gonna galvanize these guys. Because no, we'll get to Barca no. afterwards. Barca reacts because they were like, oh my god, no, we like him. Okay, he's leaving. Let's knock him down because we don't want him to, to go. Because yeah, despite yeah, the bad results, it's yeah, actually yeah, on us. Okay, why is Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? To, to be honest, them announcing that that early, considering Tuchel has no kind of backstory to his life with, with Bayern Munich. I think that would have just made the players turn off even more, really. Like, I, I think they would have then just kicked back and relaxed for the next for the rest of the season. Because what do they have to prove to these dudes? Nothing, unless you're unless, the only person I really look at that that you know maybe is trying to prove a point is Kane. Outside of Kane, there's not a single player in that Bayern team that needs to prove anything to to Tuchel um, or or any of the outside media watching in because. How many league titles? God knows how many league titles they've won. UCLs they've got in the bag. So it's not like they need to prove anything to anybody. Other than Kane, um, I don't think Tuchel, them announcing Tuchel leaving. In fact, I, I think it had an actual reverse effect on, on the players. Um, whereas if if that, it's weird with Bayern because Bayern, in a club like Bayern and that, and that kind of level, you can't not respond to brick results you know, constant, consistently happening. Like you have to, uh, as the board or owner. No, because it's, because it's so basically, my thing is that they had two things to do: either sack him, new manager for a new manager bounce, or say nothing, and then we know what's going to happen afterwards. But the issue is, because I think even a ban fan says, I think it was even Simasi or someone was that ban don't want like a quick fix. They want to think long and hard before yeah. they don't have manager. So, 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 so maybe you know what what this is? It, this is is is, is a write off. It's yeah, okay. it is. It, it's, it's a write off. And I'm like, okay, but, but the plan the plan was to get Alonso. That was the plan. 
But Alonso no, actually, um, Alonso, uh, the uh, decision was made earlier. It's just got now public. So he told the Bayern board already that he's going to stay for a season. So the board already is uh, looking for a new manager. And they're, and they're looking at all at uh, facts that I have. So they have to do the right decision for a long-term manager. But, well, but I don't is, think is, Zerbi is not a bad choice if it's the Zerbi. But isn't that isn't think still going to be... I don't think he's ready. It, is, isn't that still going to be a short, short-term short fix, though? So until 2025? No, no I think the Zerbi, they're going to give him time. It's going to be more like a Teta project. But I think by Amrielas now, this short-term fix it with... New manager every year, uh, every two year is not good for. Oh, no, oh, no, I said, no, no, I think no, busy. I got a question though. No, because I, I think the because you was well, you say Jabal Alonso like the twenty twenty five doesn't work because Ban ain't gonna just hire a short term person until twenty twenty five. So that's so really for Jabi Alonso, the only thing I can think of is Real Madrid, unless Ban's next manager screws up royally, or. Um, Liverpool's manager screws up royally. So Liverpool have to hire a manager next season. Ban will hire a manager next season for their next pro- pro project. So then that doesn't... I don't th- I don't see Ban say, like, oh, let's let's put a stopgap until Jabi Lonsi 2025. No, come on. Their next manager is, okay, this is our next guy to totally rebuild this team from, from this crap what, show. Yeah, but was, was Tuchel a long-term project? Is, is it, no. You want it around. Well, like, you know, the original it. plan for them for a long time. I mean, the Bayern Munich have done it before with Yopinex when they brought him back for a year. So, but I don't know what he's doing now. He's probably still in retirement or something. Oh, I don't know. No, let's. Wait, no, is he still alive? I, I, I I'm love saying, you. Let him retire. J, J Twist. Last, Jesus, the, the last time they 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 put a gun to his head in a retirement room and say you'll get your old ass to, to the to the to the management yeah, right do, now. They can't do it again, bro. They can't do it again. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I say, say the form for me now. For me now, that's elderly abuse, bro. That's elderly abuse. If if they put another gun to say yo, old old guy, get your ass out of this fucking you know, so, No, that that's messed up. No, you can't do it. Didn't you go to school with him? Didn't you go to school with him? Um, does anyone want to speak? <laughs> so, J two S, J two S. Yeah, so, so what's a zombie? Zombie, what's it? No, I was gonna ask Demasi a question. So, yeah, go for Demasi, it. Demasi, who would you? So, with all the man, so with all the managers that are available, who would you rather have long term for Bayern? Actually, the, I always wanted him, but he's not going. It would be Klopp, but he's never ever going to be Bayern manager. Oh no, my no. second t- choice. I love Simeone. No, he's not coming. Damn. He's, but he's also not coming. So, 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 so be... would you take Jabi Alonso? If if Jabi no, Alonso was available, would, it, you, would, would it, you have taken him? No, I've, uh, the players we have now uh, is not suited for how Jabi plays. And Bayern is never playing like Barcelona. And it's not uh, in our DNA to play like Barcelona. So, no. What about, what about Graham Potter? Come on, J2S. What, yes, England and Germany clubbing. Yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, I think Ollie's it's going to be oh, 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 like yeah, Ollie the, the wheel same well. choices Liverpool have. It will be like Armiron, Deserby. Oh, actually, actually Bob, did it, I, I read something. Yeah. So, someone linked me to something on Twitter that Nagelsmann returned. Has oh not been ruled God, out. No, no, no. no. Run it back. No, I don't even think that. Run it back. No. <laughs> I don't think or, 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 Sam, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. <laughs> Sam Otsuwotsu, you know, that's that's a possible red card offense. The lamp. <laughs> that's that's a, <laughs> that's a possible red card offense. First for the suggestion and the nick, nickname. So that's a double barred film, man. For, so for both, man. That's a sick. So, nah, so I was going to say, or Samasi, would, or would you. Rather take Flick back if it had to be that choice. Flick's, Flick could actually work because Brazil isn't uh, at Bayern anymore and he hated him for good reason. So Flick could work. I just want a manager who has a philosophy and plays progressive uh, offensive football and 
that should be the minimum. And I think we could work on that. Because I'm watching Tuchel, by, these Bayern players on a Tuchel, HH is depressing. It's HH, it I know how you feel now. I know how you feel. No, 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 Smasi, Smasi. No, 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 because Smasi, no, no. we are going to, Smasi, Hammersmith no, FC is the next topic. Hammersmith FC is the next the, the topic. Because event, man, the main event, man, the main event. No, that's not the main, the, no, no, the main, the main <laughs> event, event is, 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 is Money Messi against Thanos. The main event is Money Messi against Thanos. This is the real main event. So, no, no, it's Money Messi against Thanos. But my thing though is that, no, no, but okay, but it ain't great. You want to compare it to Hammersmith FC? I told you. No, 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 Smasi. I've had it up to here. Smasi, I'm done. Being 11th in no, Smasi, I'm done. Like, Smasi, try being eleventh. I know. Wait, but wait. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen Callisto's mean, video? I mean, the, there is a video of Callisto <laughs> where what, I'm looking at a cinema screen, and it says Chelsea's trajectory of the table: sixteenth, fifteenth, eleventh, twelfth, eleventh, tenth, eleventh. It's well, like that's that's been well, been, been team, my my team, season. The, team, the teams around Chelsea change, but Chelsea stay consistent. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, at the start, at the start when uh, you're still uh, with Tuchel and you're playing bad, but you're still in the fourth place for that's when at the start of your downfall. I know what is or how does it feel. It's just bad to watch. I just want to enjoy watching Bayern. That's my first priority, and then the uh, trophies will come. I believe in it. Okay, so, okay. so 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 shout to the streets. So ask the streets tonight. So Tuchel was Tuchel right to give up publicly? And um, forty eight percent said no, weak move. But fifty two percent says yes, he is just being real. Okay, I mean, I again, I just really disagree, bro. So okay, let's keep this debate because then we'll go to the main event. The main event. Um, the main event. St. Pablo, thank you for the membership. Thank you, bro. Half up from the future. Oh, HH, our antics with PGD gets exposed. <laughs> 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 is, is your claim the best as well, James? <laughs> your antics is crazy. No. <laughs> Wait, HH, can you elaborate on these antics? What, what, what are these antics consistent? Hey, yo, what's that face? Can, can you elaborate? Happy, happy, no, but I think so. Happy, happy. Why is he using this AV? Why that's AV? Where that's picture? That, that's, that's what I want to say. That's a perfect AV, man. That's a perfect AV. Shout out to your boy. Shout out to my shocks, man. Yo, we're acting bougie on HH's Twitter spaces. Almost didn't recognize some of you. Wait, bougie? How? How, how did I be actually no bro? No, but there was a space where we just talked about how trash um Chelsea are, bro. Again for about, about, about an hour. And you know because you know we've not, you've hardly seen any you know Ford has hardly been around. I don't Eric, know where Eric is. I think yeah, I think Eric went from receptionist to actually being so, so yeah, so, so I, I think I think Eric is now I think it's like before he was doing his part tonight, he's like he's actually a full time heaven full -time, receptionist now. Full time heaven receptionist. <laughs> yeah, where are you? Baby, Eric, baby. <laughs> so, so it's basically, it's basically like whatever, like you know, you know, like the the, the caca celebration. It's like, yo, Eric, this is for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Caca is pointed to Eric. G G O D gave him a pay rise, man. <laughs> 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 that's, no, why is that's crazy? Bro. That's, that's, that's crazy. You're not, you're not, you don't give him God a nickname, bro. That's crazy. Don't give him God a nickname. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's that. that that's a yellow. That's a yellow. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> shout out, shout out, brother. It's fair. Yo. <laughs> Hey, just, just keep your composure. <laughs> keep your composure. Yeah, we'll show tomorrow. Oh my god! That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's messed up. <laughs> um, I refer. Jabby is, staying it's, is it's is good. It's good for yeah, football. Also. Oh no no no! Great. So everyone agrees that's a great move by Jabby Alonso staying. Obviously, apart from Real Madrid fans and yeah, Liverpool yeah. fans. Yeah. No no. I, I think. It's actually, it's good for the, the, yes, the biggest L I think is Liverpool. Yeah. Because I think for Liverpool they're like. Because remember, Real Madrid, Carlo is there till 20 to 25. For Bayern, as Samasi just said, maybe it doesn't fit for them. Jabi Alonso, Liverpool, I think it, it would have made, made, made sense. But, you know, yeah. I right, prefer again. Tuchel is a bomb as prick. Sorry, Tuchel is a bomb. But Ateta has done less than Javi. Yeah, look, look, yeah, I mean, look. Can I okay, one of go for it. One of 
listen, Tuchel just made uh, a Bayern Munich fan on the channel cry or go on the verge of tears. So that, that's what I'm going to say. Then. Listen, first, people, need, people need first. to understand, Tuchel at the top level is done. I'm telling you right now, Tuchel's next job is... Is, Chelsea, um, Valencia, Chelsea again. Fulham, Chelsea, it, it, Lugo, Ibiza, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Sar- he's Sar- in Sar- the Mourinho level. Chelsea, he's Chelsea. in the Mourinho Chelsea. level where Mourinho stock dropped and then he went Tottenham and Roma. That's where that's where <laughs> Tuchel is. <laughs> Wait, the position's wrong. <laughs> the, yeah, you, yeah, you got to update that, bro. You got. <laughs> um, shout out to boy. Nah, nah, this is crazy. Shout out to boy. As come on, eleven years. <laughs> 11 titles. God, actually, no. do you think do you think Coman has grounds to sue? H H, he should P- sue. Potentially, potentially. This man is breaking neck records, but in a negative. That's that's we wild, bro. We haven't lost to uh, we haven't lost to Dortmund at home since 2014. H this man is breaking record after record when he cannot stop himself. Wait. I oh, am that, in that's, that's a, a you just say 2014? Is that one I am in yeah. my... This is oh, yeah. a nightmare. It, 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 it's just horrible. Bro, Com- <laughs> Com- 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 would have had a, Common would have had a great autobiopic like, name. 12, 12 years, 12 trophies, but Kane just fucked it up for it completely. Could you imagine, could you imagine that title for an autobiopic? That would be man. <laughs> just three just three um fans can say or feel that way manager players no oh, yeah i agree yeah. yes yeah imagine if you're a band fan and your manager has literally given up before it's mathematically over you're like what the heck are you doing and whether you're the manager or not that's crazy that for me i'm sorry like no that's crazy. As a band, like it doesn't matter until it's mathematically done. You don't we give up. Have, we should have sucked him in the uh, winter pause in the winter yeah. break. Sorry. Yeah. Shout out to Pant Philip. Leverkusen not only close to winning the Bundesliga for the first time, but also having highest points in Bundesliga history. Ban got ninety one points in twelve to thirteen. See, I believe Leverkusen will lose at least once, and probably to I think, Dortmund. I think, they will lose uh, after they won the. After they won the title, they probably focus more on the Europa League because yeah. they want to do the double yeah. or the uh, mini uh, treble. Uh, but, 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 but actually, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Though. So if let's say they wrap it up without losing, obviously you only win the Europa League. But like, bro, let's be unbeaten because then that, let, let's be unbeaten and have the highest point. Because now that I is think history. They care more of winning it because they never won it. They don't care. Yeah, no, HH, yes. Edge, I'm sorry. Who cares about invincible if you win your first? No, it's no, one hundred percent. For Leverkusen, the main thing is win. Doesn't matter how, win. Let's win the damn title, and then any anything else is just extra. Oh, that's just extra. But the main thing is a bro. Because guys, think, remember, they've never won a title in their I entire history. Kept, oh, yeah, only, they more have, about like, doing the double. I think they can more doing the double or the treble. Mini travel. Then oh, yeah, yeah, DFB Pokal, Pokal, yeah, yeah, DFB Pokal, yeah. They focus more on the DFB Pokal, where they have to play and the uh, the Europa League after that. So, so shout to you, QC8. Um, Taliban said we don't claim this bomb. Should have known. Yeah, yeah we should have. <laughs> <We should've. laughs> Blaze A, remember when I told you it's a curse? It doesn't matter the opposition. Every time we get a chance to climb, the juju brings us back. It was 10 man Burnley. And this oh, brings this us perfect segue. Perfect. This Perfect's brings us. Ready. Ready. It's time for the main event. Wait, hold no, 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 you don't know, guys. This is guys. The main event is Arsenal against no, Man City. No, this is the real these are these are the, the, these are the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> these are the hors d'oeuvres. Okay, this, this you know we have the like little cabbage. This this we're still on the hors d'oeuvres. This 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 is starters. This is the starters. This is the starters. This is the starters. This guys, can I say which one? This ain't this ain't the main hors d'oeuvre. Place A. Hashtag main event. Hashtag main event. Place A. Place A. Place A. My thing is, is place A. My thing is 11. Zombies. Wow, that is an amazing slideshow. <laughs> zombies. I I recognize a Windows Paints edit job when I see one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So no 
<laughs> my thing, place is I look, place I see, place I want to focus on that thing. You said ten man Burnley, ten man Burnley, place like you know what, like I give up. You see, I can't. I I'm normally good at at, at comebacks. I can't come back from that. Like I don't know how to give a comeback to ten man Burnley. And well, also, no, here's what we're going to say, Elijah. How many? Is, was, is it? Oh, hold on. Is this real? No, no did it? No, did it? Yes, yes. We you have to sell players in order to make up for FFP. You're what? going to have to sell players. It may not be Gallagher we and James. Stinks? Chelsea will have to sell oh, players. Oh my God! Why are you Bro, selling Reece Reece James? Reece James. Wait, R. Wait. R. Reece, 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 Reece is good. Ray, Ray J isn't a big this, deal, man. Let's relax. This is great. You're getting rid of the beast, Reese. Yeah. Bro, that guy spends more time. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, Mouse. Who wants 60 mil for, for James? Who? Just yeah, exactly. Who? Bro, who wants to pay that much for that guy? Who the hell wants to pay 60 M's for Bro, that guy? Who would want James? The way I'll, he's I'll been playing, no. Bro, 60 M's in the hospital wing? 60 like, million? Oh, Bro, that's that's literally like a. I'll pay 60 mil for Lauren James. She's good. Bro, I want to pay for his system. She's actually really good. Hey, yeah, bro, she's, and that's she's, the crazy she's one of the best female footballers. I'll pay sixty better than her brother. Her. Yeah, man. What a money makes for horses, though. Um, we'll see. Okay, here, guys. Here's the thing. Um, why, why, why is James? Wait, wait. So, so Masi, it's, it's, it's my turn to now rant, please. Let, 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 let me, let me vent. Guys, I, I, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't anymore, You can, guys. you have a UCL, come on. What do you mean you can't? You already did before. Guys, <laughs> guys, like... Burn the no, 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 guys, no, guys, this is, guys, I'm sorry, this is real, guys, I, I can't. AJ, believe in parts. Ha- hashtag reality. Guys, like, I, I can't, hashtag like, because I can't. Come on, how I can't many many do this UCLs anymore. Believe in parts. Believe in parts. Hashtag bip. I, I can't do this anymore. Like, hashtag what happened to Project This, this, this is, this is too much for me. HH, you gotta finish your breakfast. You're almost halfway the season, bro. You gotta finish your breakfast. Hashtag Potch. Yeah, HH, you gotta finish your story, man. Shout out to Cody. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let me even bring this out here. <laughs> um, Sidiq Munawa, that's a yellow. <laughs> that's a yellow. So, as, as I was saying, I mean, the um, is the same. So, as I was saying, um, Guys, I just guys, I I can't. You I can't. Can, like, I I can. honestly can't. Mo- no money makes I can. I can. I can't do this. I can't. I no 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 guys. I can't. I can't do this. I can't because okay. Let me let me okay, look, let me let me complain with you. Guys, I told you. I don't even enjoy talking to other Chelsea fans right now. Even that annoys me. <laughs> so whenever I look at the time and I'm, I'm like. Oh, it's like when I say, I guess, oh, hey, where are the trading? I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give Yo, a Alex, that's crazy, man. Alex, that's crazy. I don't like, guys, I'm, I'm fed up with these guys, man. <laughs> I'm fed up with these guys. I'm absolutely fed up with these guys. Like, I can't do this, bro. You can, you can. I can't. I can't. Hey, I can't. Please, I can't. Bro, why, why yeah, does it sound like a bad breakfast. intro to a porno or something? Finish your like breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Nomad, how do I, Nomad, uh, help me. Productions. Nomad, help me with <laughs> my child's so ministry. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Should, should I go out on loan? What? <laughs> no, no one's I asked ask a simple question. Should I go out on loan? No one's taking you, bro. The front <laughs> window closed. <laughs> yeah, check shut complete. Up. Wait, hold on. I'm not saying Nomad. I'm not saying Nomad. Should, should I go out on loan? In April? It should have, it should have gone on loan. <laughs> The moment it should have gone on loan. The moment Bram left, the Russian left. The Russian was your club. The club was the Russian. Once he left, you <laughs> went back to your old ways. It is your 19th century club with six league titles. This is what you get. Eleventh position. This is what you always were. Now that uh, the money is going towards you know the war. Uh, you have a different nomad, owner now. Nomad, 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 do you know how painful this is, bro? Like, Nomad, you have to understand that. This is, no, no, this no, no, wait, 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 no, 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 you don't understand. Let me tell you, let me, let me tell you right now. I went from winning Champions Leagues, competing for Champions CCL, League CCL. at the top of the world to having a DiCaprio 
agenda of recruitment and being 11th. Big and cool. where my, hold up, I'm not done, no, I'm not done yet. Where my bomber's idiotic manager says, if you look at the data, we would be fourth. No matter, that's, that's where I'm right now. Where I'm right now is that my manager is saying that if you, if you look at the, yes, so that's yes. My, my manager, I'm at the point where my manager says that if you look at the data, the data, we would be fourth. So no matter, can you understand the kind of stuff I'm doing? Because, no matter, because you see, you understand because you understand what it means to be like a UCL club. How it means to win like a UCL. See, money mates doesn't understand that whole UCL talk. Oh, Many, we do. So my thing is, is my main thing is, how, no matter, how do you go from there to this? No matter, it doesn't make sense. And any Chelsea fan who accepts this, you're essentially a loser. I'm sorry. Any Chelsea fan who accepts this and says, because fine, you're essentially so. If you if you don't riot and burn down Stamford Bridge, you don't burn down that that damn bridge, you're not a real Chelsea fan. You are essentially a loser. But no one continue. Is it your owner got the club on a discount, right? One he doesn't pound, respect it. No, Wait, that's I mean, a fact. Pound, that's actually pound, a fact. One pound. He went to the court. Uh, that's actually a Chelsea. fact. He, he got the club on a discount, so he doesn't respect it. He's using it as a front to launder money for all of his other sporting ventures. He doesn't care if uh, Chelsea ends up in the bottom of the, of the table for the next 20 years. He doesn't care. It's a, this is what happens as a result of, you know, karma for Baba Rahman, for Lucas Piazon, for Marco Van Ginkel, for Danny Drinkwater, for Baka Yoko, for Batshuayi. Mm. This is what happens. And who was that... Uh, uh, English midfielder, your homeboy, who you destroyed, who's nowhere Mason to be seen, Mount. even played for England. English midfielder, central midfielder. I don't remember his name. I don't want to remember. I don't want to oh, remember. You mean, you mean booty cheeks? <laughs> no, no, he had a really long name. Uh, yeah, Roman Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek, yeah. Loftus, yeah, yeah, booty Loftus. cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> they destroyed him as well. It is, you can't keep yourself from destroying your own players. You don't respect your own players. And this is just karma coming back. You know? it is, your club is not winning a major title for the next decade. Take it from me. And this is it's, what happens uh, when you become, and this is what happens when you become uh, a supporter of a club when it's doing well. When it's not supposed to do well. Because it is, the FFP charges are coming. The chickens are coming home to roost. You're going to see that That's whatever you accomplished, thing. yeah, whatever you accomplished, it was fake. It was a robbery. It was corruption. The charges are coming. The relegation is coming. You're going to you're going to still be a Chelsea supporter when uh, they're going to be playing in the third division, really? Come on, AJ. So this this is what happens. You should have you should have become a supporter of the club when it was jack shit, you know. So that you would have gone on the journey of seeing the club improve and uh, you know become better so now you wouldn't be feeling that bad wait you know no, you jumped on the hype train. wait he's been there since yeah. the century are you calling you me jumped on the, yeah you jumped on the hype train where they, they were doing good that's what's happening to barcelona fans that's wait, what's wait, happening no 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 i started surprised to when we're sixth with petrescu michael dubry and graham lesso yeah but uh, Wait, you still, had all you still want eleventh, yeah, and you still want eleventh, right? Are you finishing in the top yeah, six we're six. this season? Are you finishing in the top six this season? This Most season likely not. Of this course not. not over. Of course not. So it is this. This was it is the foundations of the bridge. You know, I keep keep saying the bridge under whom you know desolate people smoke heroin because they're Chelsea <laughs> fans. <laughs> That bridge. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm almost lost. Where the hell did that heroin come into this? Bridge? Yes, yes, yes. That's what the that's what the bridge is because it is. Its foundations are older than Anfield. You still haven't replaced the foundation. What? What the fuck? Yeah. Like, can, can you put my AV? Look, really? look I, I, I'm sorry. I sh I showed Mike's older than Anfield. Summer Bridge. Summer Bridge. It ain't great. It ain't great. It ain't great. Mm. Well, come on. It, it is your your owner doesn't love your club. And you don't have a proper structure just beneath the owner when it comes to director of football, when it comes to scouts. Uh, why couldn't you have gotten some 
you know, better youngsters to, to join your, you could still have a, you know, a, a young project, okay, but okay, these are bums. Wait, J J2S, be objective. Is it that bad for, for Chelsea? How bad can is it? Can you pull up zombies for, 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 picture? Yeah, can, no. Can, can you put my AV, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is, is that even a bridge? a bridge today. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a sewer space. That's not even a bridge. But it looks like a damn sewer. Wait, I just, I just need to give everyone a bit of context, please. Just wait for it. Oh, good. The, the, it's, it's slowly loading. I, I hope it never loads. Oh, H, H, you do it to yourself. This is why you should never say anything. Like the vid, everyone. Like the vid. <laughs> Kiev Benito is hey, dude, the worst thing you said. Yourself, man. You do hey, this, this is why you do not say anything, bro. <laughs> this is exactly why. You get overhyped. You you get overhyped that's, that's over problem. one win, and then you get clipped. You do you do this so Wait, many I just, times. I just have a final one final question. Did you ever believe in Potch at any point at Chelsea? Oh my god. J2S, I am begging you. Don't say anything, don't say anything. J2S, I'm begging you. I am begging you, J2S. I am begging you. I am pleading hey, with you. J2S, just look at my AVI. And Chelsea should feel disappointed not winning this game. Look, man, Potchball is here. And So everyone, hit Potchball is here, guys. Just remember that. Bit, bit, bit. I fucking, I knew it gone. it's going to come. HH, hey, can I speak on this quickly? Me too, after him. Oh, I've said what I need to say. I've said it. Thank you so much, uh, J2S. I just want to pick up from here. Um, HH, listen, I'm not really concerned about what happens with Chelsea in the league because right now football needs to unite to come together and stop Operation Pep back-to-back -back trebles. That, that's, that's the most important thing in football right now. Now, listen, Arsenal and Liverpool, we're doing our job right now. Real Madrid... Um, 
I'm I'm not sure if Paul I'm not sure if Paul can give us more insight, but I'm pretty sure Paul will give them a game come the quarterfinals of the UCL. HH, pull up my AVI. If all else fails, HH, you need to save us. You need to save. You need to save football, HH. HH, you must save football. Save football needs saving. There's only one team that can save us, and that's Chelsea Football Club. I understand that Burnley with 10 men and no manager outplayed you at your own stadium. I understand that. But City don't know about Kiev Benito. They don't know about yes. Co J, Re J, all the J's. They don't know about all the J's, HH. We need someone to step up and save football, HH. Because, listen... Madrid, Arsenal, Liverpool, there's only so much we can do. There's, there's Paul, do you honestly think Madrid can do anything? I don't think Arsenal can do anything. I don't think Liverpool can do anything. But the West London, the second biggest jersey in world football can, can save football. They can save us. They can, HH, you can be the hero of football. Imagine 90th minute Co J winner stops this Man City treble. Just imagine that at Wembley, HH. Astrid Wet jumping in the crowd. Oh my God. <laughs> the limbs, the limbs, HH. Just imagine the limbs. This we need someone to step up and save us in these in these tough times. HH, I'm asking you, can you save us? Give us an answer, HH. Can you save us? Don't say anything. My, no, my no, name no. is I, I, I done because there are people waiting to speak on the panel. So my name is if you're done, I can go to the next person. By the way, money money well said, by well the way, on. by the way, money miss, this is the same guy who said that Lavia, Caicedo, and Enzo were as good as Ju Ameni Kama Venga and Valverde. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, I got you number, I got your number. Yeah, you did. Why did you Kamavinga can't save us? Look, here's the thing. Um, Can I say something? Me too. Save us, HH. Save us. So nice to go. Oh, baby, come on, Dennis. Nueva Abla. Abla Nueve. We have goes to coming through, guys coming through SM. It's gonna be a whole new day. And SM, we're gonna show it. No, SM, we're not house now. Okay? We're in house. Now you're gonna see what a real style challenge is, yo. You're gonna see what a real house SM, unlike Liverpool, we get the job done. Okay, we get the job done, dog. We get the job done. Let's go and do it SM. No, 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 hold up. SM, enjoy your trouble. No, no, I want to try to get a target SM. We're not going to try. We're going to show you what the real challenge is. This is a challenge. No, no, not a challenge. Challenge. We're going to go French. We're going to go French. We're going to show you. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Come see, come see. Come see, come see. Come see, come see. We'll be back with you after this short ad break. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So yeah, so this is a fan, and, and it shows you the battery there and so forth. So and it has five settings: setting one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm using setting three. So what? Does it? Does it? Why? 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 Nah, nah, I'm sorry. Challenge is crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, that's <laughs> challenge yeah, that's is crazy. You know? I didn't know you spoke French. HH, you want to know what your problem is when it comes to Chelsea? Your arrogance. Like, yeah. that's the only thing you have not heard. HH, I want you to. I know you're the goal analyst. I just want to bring up my AV, please. I just want to break. Uh, I just want to break the <laughs> oh my God, Conor Gallagher's idiot. <laughs> 
What? He, he just wanted now, to have this, five. This, he didn't have like, five. <laughs> well, this next offense is a yellow. Uh, next wait, offense wait, is a yellow. But no, as next I was saying, though. Hey, you cool, man. You already got a yellow. Wait, is it a thing to have twist at Chelsea, like even for the kids? This this he might be his hand because he's not proper Charles. This, no, no, that, <laughs> that, that, that image that that image might be what it is perfect for Chelsea's season this this year. Because I've never seen I've never seen anything like that happen, bro. I swear to God. I mean the kid the kid looked like that. That's the last game that kid's ever gonna attend, bro. All he wanted is all he wanted is a high five. He just want to shake his captain's hand, man. He just want to shake his captain's hand. And his second like captain didn't even look at him. Fun. <laughs> no, HS, can I say something though? I also want to say some, okay, something. Okay, wait, hold on. Because he's just coming. Let me go to um, Paul Zombies then to smash. So, 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 Paul, so, Paul, my question is how do I, Paul, I'm, Paul, I'm, I'm, at the, I'm at the bottom of the well. <laughs> Paul, like I'm, I'm at the lowest of the low and everything, Remember, and 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 I remember right, right now, Paul, right now, like I'm, I'm, I'm a Ronin, so I'm, I'm taking a break from Chelsea. I'm taking a break from Chelsea because my mental health is too important for me. So, so Paul, how do I cope? Knowing, which, knowing me and um, and the passion I have for football, how do I cope? Paul, talk to me. Wait, just just one question. Uh, what mm. kind of well is it? Is it an African well? Paul, Paul. Um, I mean. If you have passion for football, just I don't know. I don't watch Chelsea. <laughs> step one. Uh, step two. I don't know. Enjoy basketball. <laughs> I mean. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Bro! No! 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 I told you. Literally, like, cause like, what's it called? Because uh, because players about about the stats. NBA, so I am gonna. I am. I'm so ready for the playoffs, bro. I'm so ready for the NBA playoffs right now. So yes, yeah, trust me. Because see, see, Paul, my thing though is that I was watching Chelsea today, and I Paul, I was like, why am I watching this? Because I realized that you know, I like football. I like good football. I like quality football players. I like quality football players that actually excites me and actually make me interested. Paul, watching Chelsea is awful. It's trash. It's horrible. And Paul, my and Paul, this is what my captain does. This is what my captain does. So Paul, it's all messed up. It's it's all Paul. It's all messed up. So Paul, my thing is that where do I turn to? I mean, I know you. You don't like loans, so. Nah, I I, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know, Paul. I've come, Paul. I've come. I, so any <laughs> Chelsea fan, you can you you can say, oh, just. Chelsea fans, screw you. I'm sorry right now, screw you guys. Yes, I've come close to, to going on loan. Yes, I've come pretty close. Oh my gosh, the treasures. I don't give a damn. Go go and make bread with the other bombers, Rory, Rory Jensen, and, and those other pricks. Okay? My mental health means more. So yes, yes, Paul, I've come close to a loan, but Paul. Wait, 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 wait. It's I am too old wanna, school. I'm too old school. Yeah. Why do you want to go on loan in April, bro? Uh, yeah. Barry, I'll go on loan in July, August, September. I don't, I don't give a damn. Continue. Paul. That's a transfer window. That's a transfer window. The only club yeah, so... you've in, in a loan, <laughs> uh, a, a personal opinion, and this is not ironic, is Football Club Barcelona. So don't just go there, go there. Talk well about the players. Talk well about the the, the manager. You know. Um, and I think you'll you'll enjoy it. I mean, Paul, hey, look, look at this guy, bro. Really well. We're from, he, he already look, knows Barca really well. Paul, man. We're actually know. doing well, and he wants us to be in the mud again. Nah, no, 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 Barry, Barry. AJ knows Barca really well, so he knows Barca really well. I'm sure. I'm nah, sure nah, nah, nah. Seriously, seriously. You should go to Man City. <laughs> someone say, someone say, I'm considering. Someone say, I'm considering. What? Oh, consider. Oh why is it? Doi. Why is it? It's called Doi. Wow. Well, hold on, Paul. Paul, go for it. Paul, Paul, Paul. Are we beginning an age in football where the powers that be, right, the powers established, the team established in the lead, half of them are just gonna, the, the team is gonna be flipped around. Bayern, Chelsea. Now Arsenal's going back. To, to to begin talking about the title, just talking because we need. Um, man, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we enter into. into actually, actually, no, Paul, but you know what it is? Maybe I have to double down onto Player FC. No. Player no, FC. I'm going no, to go over to Player FC. What Player FC? Your Player FC is Richie Anthony. 
Felix Mr. Conor Gallagher. Be, be careful. Uh, Ol- Ol- Olua, that bro, that is a mad. That's a crazy statement, bro. That, Whoa. But, that's a big pause. Okay. Honestly, okay. You <laughs> have Paul. Continue. No, no, Paul. Continue. Continue. Paul. Continue. Paul. I will have to say the only good thing about watching Chelsea. There is one good thing. What? Uh, uh, and that is Palmer. That is Palmer. That's the only good thing that there is in Chelsea. That is Palmer. Don't say Steve anything. Rogers, don't Steve don't say anything because he'll have an ACL tomorrow. Just on Australia, say... it's strong, on Australia yeah. like Cole Palmer and Gusto, those are the only quality players. Everyone else is, 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 is trash. What do, mean, what do you mean don't say anything? This guy's already said Palm Door and all, all this. Have he I? Him, have I? Called him, yeah, he called I've, him I've Romario. No, 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 no. That's, that's just that's just in with your optical. That's what no, no, with no, no, your optical Mario, illusion. No, no, Mario, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, sorry, Ronaldo. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever said that, bro. Okay, look, look guys, I, I, guys, I'm done with this bomber's club. Let me just hit these jobs and I'm done with this class. Oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, 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 let me come to zombies and some masses of zombies. Go for it. Good, guys, keep it brief because we have much better topics to talk about. I'm not wasting all the time to this bomber's club. This is the main event. Don't you? No, no, no. Take your time. The man. main event Take is money mates against Thanos FC. That's the main event. Yeah, it's no, against cares, Aston. Man. So yeah. zombies, you're on a you're 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 on a one minute timer. So as you say, one minute timer. 59, okay. 58, 57. Go. All right. H-H-H-H-H-H-H. You just can't learn your lesson, can you? You want to know what's your number one problem with Chelsea? Is is your arrogance? He, he, see, here's the thing with you. When every time they win, it's like you you pretty much you get this. You get this cockiness, you get this vibe, thinking you can beat anybody. But then when they lose, so okay, so zombies, I can't be down, happy. Bro. So 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 basically, so, so I should, so when are those? So I can never be happy. I can never be joyous. Bro, um, okay, but here's the thing: you can be happy, but see, there's a time when you can be arrogant, and then there's a time where you have to be humble. And clearly, you and clearly, you, clearly, you haven't learned that. That's just me, bro. Like look, bro. Like look at you, bro. Like look at. Look, Jay no, Twist already this, called this you this out. Money just YSK already called you out. It's like, bro, like we have receipts. It's like the thing with you is, it's like you, you have you have to stop like being so arrogant when it comes to like other when it comes to like other teams. Yeah, Chelsea, they won trophies. Oh, I can't wait yes, for that They did all of that, but at the same time, you gotta no, worry no, about no, other, no. you gotta worry about Inject other that. clubs around you, and you pretty much take that for granted. Let alone you had like look, you just let Burnley beat you. Wait, wait, pop, hold up. Okay, so okay, so honestly speaking, so you guys think I'm arrogant? No, no you're not. You've, you've nah, 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 you're not. You've nah, nah, nah. You don't need to play the receiver. Oh, I'm too, I'm too hyper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You're just a prick. So so basically, you says. I, I basically can't be happy. I basically shouldn't sit at a great I should not be like, no, no, like yes, Chelsea won, and Cole Palmer did very well. Look, so did the Mudrick. We won as well. That's good. <laughs> like not, like the vid. Subscribe. I, I Websites. Understand. Check out the other vids. <laughs> bye bye. So that's what I should do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, all I'm saying is this. You could be happy when your team is winning, but all I'm saying is at the same time, be humble because you never know a team like Burnley can beat you. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 but no, but with zombies. Do you know Burnley are nineteenth, and they're one of the worst teams in EPL history? I didn't yeah. think that these losers would actually conspire. Zombies, they had ten men. Zombies, yeah, and, zombies, yeah. they had ten men for the whole second half. Zombies, I, 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 I listen to what I'm saying. Bro, zombies, I'm not, I'm not talking, I'm not talking Mandarin. I don't know a single word of of, of Mandarin. Leho, that, that's that's what I freaking know. I'm not talking Mandarin. They had ten men for. 45 minutes. They didn't you know have bots though. They didn't have bots though. That cancels the task. Yeah. Yep. Okay, what's up, um, Smarty? What do you want to say, Smarty? I actually, maybe because I'm also in the Matt Wagner, feel sorry for Chelsea fans. <laughs> I feel so even for HH, even he tried to jinx my club every time we play. You're not in because the mud, though. Chelsea Chelsea didn't Chelsea didn't choose that they had no choice who the owner is going to be and the I don't know what for a test clear like uh, uh, these clear like fools survived this uh, test 
this uh, owner test how did how did these idiots survive these uh, these tests the Premier Leagues are making them because they have no plan they have no structure their tra transfer uh, tech, uh, tactics is all wrong their ch uh, choice for manager is wrong every there are the um, uh, everything that you uh, they do turns into ash. Okay, these clear like idiots. They have to sell. They have to sell Chelsea immediately, and Chelsea fans have actually the power of the media if they band together to get them out. The problem is there's a civil war in the Chelsea fandom. Because of players like Conor Gallagher, etc. And if HF, you have to get your Chelsea fans together and protest. That's the only choice you have to get them out. Well, no, 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 Smashy, I said again, no, like, that's the aim. Now, I don't approve of Abdullah say that people should be hanged. I think that's a bit too, too far. <laughs> but we are going to, I mean, like, something's going to be, be, I know, so I don't approve of, I don't approve of hanging or stoning. Abdullah is going too far doing that. But yeah, I'm gonna like let's just start breaking stuff. Yeah, let's hey, hey, let's. Hey, hey, do, stop do you remember when we stuff. talked about when we talked about United? Mm. Do you remember what I said? Wait, wait, what did he say? Remind us. What I said is that heel clubs, you don't own. They don't care about you. Old Bowley doesn't care about the fans. Mm. The Glazers doesn't don't care about the fans, and the Sheikh of Manchester City doesn't give a fuck about the fans. And this is the problem with this model. Doesn't matter if you're Chelsea, and you laughed at that moment because we were we, we were talking about United, but it's the same with your club. It's the same. You have no leverage on the club. What leverage do you have? Breaking things that your club will have to fix. The club you're doing it damage can, to something that you love. You're you, 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 you hurting something that you love because you want to just hurt a, a third person. It's fucking stupid. This is the problem. Yeah, it's great if you have a dictator, let's say. It's, it's great if you did, that dictator is amazing and does everything right. But when things go wrong, then you're fucked. Then you're fucked. Because you don't have, you can't do anything. And at least a dictator can be killed. What can you do with Bowley? What can you do with this board? What can you do about this model? Because you take Bowley out and another comes. It's a problem. <sighs> it's actually well, mad. Clear, clear How good gets you up. Remember, HH, you have two UCLs. No, George, always be cheer that. HH, next time mean, you win, you yeah, 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 yeah. have a clap. How do you check it? No, Barry, Barry, I'll be worse. Win, win, I'll be worse. No, one still... W. One W. Come on, man. It is. you still have the it's European heritage of Nottingham Forest. You still have it. HH, you can win against 20, I don't know who's 20th in the Premier League. You're gonna want to make a track, <laughs> a whiskey, and a collab album with Davido in the process. Like, man. Okay, so, so look, I'm looking at the ball. So, the, I, I put up a poll says, Is Chelsea finished as a big club? 14% said, Stop <laughs> HH, stop overreacting. 18% said, Need to wait and see. 68% says, It is over HH, bomb club. So, yeah. Shout out to the streets, man. Yeah, the people ain't wrong, man. The people ain't wrong. Yeah. Um, let me hit this Dubinsky's man. Um, Fuck those. Hold up. Shut up. Shout out to Elijah. Um, hashtag Wildscape Productions Volume 7. I'll say, no, you won't. Elijah, no, you won't. Elijah, no, you won't. Elijah, no, you won't. Elijah, no, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm banning receipts. I'm banning receipts now. Elijah, that, that wasn't Volume 7. I said I was 6.5. Uh, what, I'm, I'm, I'm saving volume seven for the United game. So, um, uh, QC, it's thank God Bram left. This is pure cinema. Hashtag brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, when I when I when I came on there and start calling it the brothel, man, I don't actually think it will become the whole thing. <laughs> like, it's actually the brothel. Like, uh, shout out to QC. Points deduction stream will hit like crack cocaine. <laughs> Wait, why are you predicting that that's going to be a stream? It won't be points. No, bro, it will, it won't it. Be more it it that won't be a stream. It. That'll be an event. It'll be an event. That's no, not a stream. That's an event. Bro, no, guys, guys, do you know, guys, this is, do you know how bad this is? Like, no, no, guys, just, 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 
you know that this must arguably be like the worst sporting story in history? If you take everything into account, what is a worse is sporting it, story than this? I don't is know. It, and is I don't it care. worse Enjoy. than Bartomeu? Is it worse than Bartomeu? Of, of course it is. Because Barca, no, it's like, not, it's, it's still bad and everything. But, but my thing, though, is that you have, to, you have to think of the fact of what Chelsea wear, how much they spent, and how bad they... They are doing historically. Like okay, but if, you, you, know, you know Chelsea have conceded as much goals as they conceded throughout the throughout last season already. So Chelsea are on course to concede more goals um, than they have conceded in thirty years. So we are reaching new lows after spending it. But see, if let's say there was a transfer ban and we had no money, hey, it is what it is. It's the fact that you've spent money and you're horrendous and you can't beat a team in nineteenth. This is this is arguably the worst sporting story in history. Well, why? <laughs> why do I feel like? And the crazy spend, part is, oh, y'all spent like half a billion. Wait, 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 hold on, okay, wait, hold on. Um, Yasin Ibrahim, Paul, do we want Chelsea in conference or eleventh? H doing post match against Wi Fi passwords would be great. Also, stop your jinx, Ella. Mbappe will dunk on Barcelona. Another ones. So Chelsea in the conference or eleventh? Oh, well, wait, hold up, neither. They can't. They can't get into the conference. You haven't league. got a choice. You, you know, if you get into the conference league, you have to do the European ban because you can't with FFP. Oh, oh yeah. my god! Beggars can be too. Yeah. It, you are oh. so screwed. I, I oh, do you, you think, Tomasa? You think? Wait, how many points? How many points? That's getting clipped. 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 I forgot about the transfer. That's getting clipped. I forgot about the points deduction. I forgot. Exactly. I forgot. Oh, okay, okay, so no, 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 no. This is too depressing. We're moving. So, guys, quick question for you guys right now. Um, and I want to start with Paul with this, and then we'll, we'll go around. Um, so, Paul, can you name me a bigger manager downgrade than what has happened with Napoli? So, in case uh, you don't know, Na- Napoli just got three three pieced by um, uh, the Atlanta cool. Hawks. So, the Atlanta Hawks just gave these guys a three-piece meal. And Napoli were at home. Napoli are currently eighth. So Napoli are eighth, 12 dubs, nine draws, nine Ls. And these guys won the league last season, and now they're currently eighth. So, Paul, can you name me a worse downgrade of a manager this season than what has happened of Napoli since Spalletti has left? Um, not in the past, but uh, I'm predicting in the future I can think of one. Which which one is this? Yeah, Atleti and Simeone. That's the only one I can think. So you're saying that the next manager that comes in with Atleti, Atleti will not finish in eighth purple position unless they get. It's not. No, but because because no no no, I'm yeah, sure it'll definitely be a downgrade. But I struggle <laughs> to believe that Atleti will get a manager, and they will be as bad as Napoli have been because. Remember, I remember, I remember also, Paul, you have to keep in mind, this is from league winners, champions. I you know, see, but... You see, as UCL semi-finalist, champions yeah. to ninth position. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the downfall is terrible. I mean, people talked about Kim Min-jai, whatever, that the soul of that team was Spalletti. That, that, yes. And, and, and but I have to say, man, uh, it's just people don't know about Atletico, that Simone is not only paid so much and he's and, and his salary has gone down he's not paid so much just to 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 manage he, he's the human shield of the board as long as these owners because it's owners uh stay on atleti and if they don't sell it the, uh, earlier uh, if they stay after, Ch- after simeone is gone they will not be able to have an elite manager because no elite manager is going to accept being a human shield so yeah maybe but anyway i can think of anyone in the past um, and of a manager because you know what managers have never been this valuable or this it's like like, like it's, it's like like Paul we are we are living in the manager age we're living in the age of the manager where the the manager has never been as important ever in history because because growing up yeah the manager was there it was about those individuals you had now teams are like systems and the manager is key so of course Osimhen was key Kivicha was was key Kim was key. Spalletti was the MVP of for, for Napoli. Yeah, 100%. Uh, what's it called? Um, Money miss. Bigger downgrade. 
what's it called? Let me, let me go to um, Barry. Has have a bigger downgrade? You see, not of it, of it, a manager. Uh, no, no. In my mind, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, for example, I could tell you if, like, let's say we had Pep and then after Kike Setien, maybe that. But <laughs> no, nah, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, AK, talk to me, bro. What, what has happened with Napoli? Oh, this, is, I, is this really I, all down to Spalletti? I wanted to speak on the bum club, uh, bum sea first, but can I go on? Oh, yeah, go on. Uh, no, no, no. We have, we have gone past um, us. We've gone, we've gone past the, us. Guys. Does anybody have um, HH's, um, the wow? Does anybody have that with feet of uh, Rafinha? No, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. somewhere in the catalog. It doesn't exist. Yeah. That never happened. We'll continue. Think... <laughs> Order, let me. Barry, no, no. I okay, hold on. I got you. Yeah, um, yeah, you got you guys are trash, man. I mean, I I mean I I, I watched the highlights of that game. Okay, we Chelsea. are on Napoli. No, we've left Chelsea. We're on Napoli right now. Speak on Napoli. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, did you leave him alone? They're, they're done. They're done. Let's be real. Um, let's be real, bro. So, so, okay, so, 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 so was this team all on Spalletti? So Spalletti was this whole yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, it, it was all on Spalletti. Um, Aussie men went back to his usual level, you know. Um, I think I think the no, sun, that's the sun, AK. To be fair, most of Napoli's games were in the day last season, so I think there is a valid excuse for the sun tax. So, um, let's be real, but we we all knew this that Kavicha carried Aussie men. Let's be real, Kavicha carried Aussie men last season, and Aussie men just went down. So Kavicha was more consistent this season than Aussie men. So, but ultimately, I think Spalletti he had that team playing a very like. It was, a, it was a very pleasing style of football, and who who do they have right now? Do they have? They, do they still have the Italian calzone as manager? No, no. They have a uh, they have someone who was in the in the Spalletti team, but I don't know his name. Yeah, was was he the calzone guy? No, I don't know. Yeah, this guy has been that, here, like, that's like also Kim like left and defensively he's like the only good defender they have so. That's so, 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 so basically, so we're saying that oh, Os- so Os- Osimhen can't make his big money move now. Huh? Like his stock is now falling. So Osimhen's stock is now falling. Yeah, completely. Yeah, bro. The, the Afcon was the first strike. The guy that the way that guy got manhandled by random defenders who play in the Polish fifth division and the Malawi third division and the Rwanda second division. That was that was a that was a red flag. Number two, he hasn't. Did you see that game against Barcelona? A 17-year-old. A pre-pubescent <laughs> that, teenager no, no, that has a mad exam tomorrow. Pocketed him. No, it's just, AK, that has been the worst performance I've ever seen in a UCL knockout. Like, uh, from a supposedly <laughs> elite striker. Then not only that, he kept getting offside. But, 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 the whole game. The what's summer is in his eyes. Oh, what's the difference between Ossiman and Darwin Nunes? Darwin Nunes, Darwin Nunes actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, but shout out to. So, before we, we move over to Barca, I have to give out inspiration. So, I think you guys probably know of Christophs. So, obviously, Christophs is a guy who obviously um, from Latvia and, and, and is a war reporter and does a lot of re- reporting and everything in U- Ukraine. So the same message says, You've got to, I've got to give him a shout out because he's getting married. So he's getting married hey. Hey. Um, next month, April 7th. Hey. So Chris Stamps, which basically consider he's taking a break oh, from God. the Ukraine stuff and everything, and he's actually going to get married April 7th in Latvia. So I said a shout out, and he wanted me to very much give the news to the community because he loves you guys and everything. So, yeah, so please okay. give a shout out to Chris Stamps. April 7th, he is going to be a married man. So... Christoph, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, Christoph, man. Shout out to you, man. So now, big up, big up, big up, bro. So, guys, let's talk about these dudes. Um, so, Barry. Okay, yes, I'll come to Barry and then, so obviously, it's his own man. So, Barry, surely Javi can't leave. Surely he can't leave. I mean, like, when I go on the news and all, uh, there's... Stuff like Laporta trying to say, oh, we're going to try to convince Xavi of staying and all this. But I think that for me, my humble opinion, I think I think it's best for him to move on. Because even though we're going on the right spiral, I think when you look at his journey as management, so he was in the desert. 
and then afterwards he goes to Barcelona, and that's kind of a big jump. And earlier this season, that was really the first rocky spot, the first run where it was really a bad time for the club, for the squad overall, and we knew how much it affected him emotionally. So I think for me, like, I think the best thing is to take a little break, and then afterwards your next job, try to, let's say, find a middle ground between the desert and uh, and Barcelona, like a club that's aspiring to do big things and whichever the, in the top five leagues, someone will get him and then he can build up on it. That's my own yeah. So what's it called? Um, zombies. What do we do? You, do you think based on Barca's run, how they're playing, Javi Ball cooking the results? Javi may chin, change his mind. I think now he, he, his mind is set, despite Laporta and guys wanting to actually stay. Me personally, I, I, I think he's still gonna go. Is how can I say? Is it's just that you know he's right. Javi's right on a couple of things. How like you know the the Bar the Barca fans they they just they they want too much. They don't really you know appreciate you know what he's doing. And then not only that, you know. Like what Barry said, you know, he's he's one of those coaches that is like inexperienced when it comes to like the Euro, like European, because he coached in the desert. And then not only that, you know, when it comes to you know getting players, you know, he has a hard time doing that because you know, Laporte Laporte is not doing anything. Like keep in mind, they're in a you know financially unstable, so it's like you have all that. Then not only that too, you know. He he's one of those coaches where you know it, it's short term. So so okay. So you don't see because what I was reading was that they said that they had a long term plan for Javi. So you don't see a long term outlook for Javi with Barca. Like I said, I I, I don't even look. Even if we win something. I still think he's gonna go because it, you could tell by the look on his face in certain matches that, like, dude, he he's just he's tired of it, like he's he's over it. So yeah, yeah. even so, like even so if, so, even, so, 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 so even, even if, if he, Barca win the UCL, he will still leave. He, he's still gonna look. He's still gonna go. Like Xavi made it. Like Xavi literally made it crystal clear. Like he's leaving. Like even if Laporta even. Got on his knees and begged for him. Pause, by the way. He's still leaving. And then what pisses me off with Laporta is is that he's being on like he's having with interviews saying that oh we're gonna oh we're gonna get him to stay oh we're looking for a no coach. So I'm like with well, Laporta, then what is it? Either you want him to stay or you want him to leave and get a new coach? Because keep in mind too, Barca had their eyes set on Fleek. Not only that, they have that eye set on Deserby too. So they're trying to decide on whether to get Fleet or whether to get Zerby. So then my question to Laporta is either you want Chabi to stay or do you want him to go so you can get a new coach? Because clearly you don't know what you want. That's that's my issue with, with Laporta. But as far as Chabi, he he's leaving that. And me um, personally, I feel like, you know, we need we need a new coach. We just need a new a new set. Paul. What are your thoughts? Do you, do you think, despite whatever Barca do, Javi will I, definitely leave? I think, on contrary, I think if he wins the UCL, I think he will definitely leave. If he goes to the final and loses by a small margin, he will stay. I, Ooh, I think, that's I interesting. Think, that's interesting. Because if he wins, then he's got nothing to prove. Like, he can just relax. He won it. If he didn't, he got this close. I think that's that's just another thing. But anyways, uh, the thing about what somebody was saying about Laporta, um, I think what happened is Laporta, uh, Xavi told that, said that to Laporta. Um, Laporta went to the market and said, Laporta said, okay, went to the market, told the managers, uh, the decent, from decent to good managers, what uh, was up. All of them laughed at him, at the conditions he, he, he told them. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to sign anyone. Uh, or almost anyone, uh, the signings will be loans. Um, you won't have money for minimum two years to do an actual good project. You'll have to withstand the pressure of Spain, Spanish media, and people. And your career will be, in short term at least, be uh, dirty or be you know whatever. And also, we are club investigated uh, by a scandal. 
So you tell that to a top coach, and they're gonna laugh at you. That that happened. Laporta came back, and he's begging Xavi to stay because there's no one. Else. And also, Xavi's having a low salary, a very low salary. And by the way, when he leaves, he said that he's gonna part of part of it. I mean, obviously, I mean, which is funny because you're leaving. <laughs> Thank you for not uh, for like. If you are truly leaving, then why would you say that you are you you are leaving part of the money you should get? Obviously, if you are leaving, you're you're not gonna get that money. Yeah. Which and, 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 and also, come on, like you're, you're, you're doing so, it out of the love of your heart. Though. Remember, you're Catalan, so he's like, no, okay, I know. Even if I'm not paid, what I should be paid? Remember, because he was doing Barca solid. But may ruin the club. They don't really have the money to maybe pay for a huge guy to like, okay, look, I'm, I'm going to come and help them, which is why, you see, for me, so right now, I don't know what this guy's going to do at the end of the season. Because here's my thing Javi never wanted to leave. Javi's announcement was he was just fed up with the media, the questions, the criticism, and everything. So he doesn't want this. Hence, so I truly believe that depending on how this season ends, he may change his mind because I do believe, which is why your scenario is interesting though, because if the season ends and he's in a strong position based on, look at what I achieved, based on what I've had to deal with, screw you. Middle fingers up to both of you guys, you know, put to you losers and then look, I'm going to say what's up. So it's, it's, it's dependent on what happens because does he walk away if Barca win the UCL? And I, I think, yeah, I, 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 I think, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, one. I'm from Yeah, imagine, yeah. 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 imagine you're yeah, so he went to pressure. Sorry, sorry, guys. I just, yeah, you just imagine, imagine you're Chavi, you're under all that pressure and whatever, and people are laughing at you, making memes of you. You're one of the biggest, most disrespected managers in the world. Um, and then you win the UCL. Why the fuck would you continue? You prove everyone wrong. You can just go relax exactly. with your family, which you say you're neglecting. You don't have anything else to prove for a Okay, 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 no, no, okay, 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 okay. Here's the scenario. What if La Porta goes and literally starts crying and, and begging him? And he's literally, um, and he's literally in tears and he starts talking on him and says, Please, 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 no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, you won't. If Laporta goes there and says, Por favor, por favor. That is getting clipped. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. sorry. Wait, why? Why? What? Okay, okay. What is I beg you in, in Catalan? Uh, uh, yeah, it's already been clipped. Yeah, no. it's already been. Yeah. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Pero, pero, pero. Now that is really good. Oh. That's already clipped. But no, H H. Uh, look, if Laporta starts begging, me personally, I will walk away because what's the point of still continuing if I receive so much disrespect, but then in return, I prove you guys wrong by winning the UCL for you guys. Okay, okay, zombies, you say, okay, zombies, you say this right now. What if Laporta says that I'll, I'll, I'll slit my wrists if you leave? Then what? That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm still leaving. Oh, really? So... You're going to, so that will be on your conscience. So Laporta says, all you have to do is stay. If you leave, I'll slit my wrists. And, okay, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll run, I'll, I'll slit like, my, no, no, hold on. I'll slit my wrists. I'll run into a brick wall and I'll, and I'll take two compasses and stick them both in my eye. H -H, he has a wife and kids, bro. There's bigger than Yeah, yeah, you sick, bro. You sick. Mm. And That's what you think. But look, 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 at the end of the, but look, at the end of the day, nothing is going to make me change my mind after what I've been through as a manager. Think about it. The, so a lot of the fans don't respect me. Two, half the staff don't respect me. Three, I'm not able to get the players that I want because we're financially unstable. Then we've been, on, like what Paul said, we've been on an investigation. So it's like, what makes you think I'm going to have my reputation thrashed because of what I've been through by being by, by having to coach these, by having to coach this club? And then two, winning it, then two, even if I win the UCL, why would I still stay by going through all of that? That like pretty much me winning the UCL is a huge fuck you to every Barcelona fan. That oh, 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 no, look, I could get it. It'd be a good way to go, but just that I'm like, bro, you won the UCL, build. Um, no la, yeah, let me, I mean, look how Coco, I mean, Coco Barsi, Lamine Yamal, hopefully, if Pedro can protect the Gavi, 
build. Forget Let these guys grow. No, no, he's speaking. Nah. No. Oh, okay, so, 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 what do you want to say? Barry, Barry, you want to say something, Barry? Oh, no, it's just like, if somehow, some way, we win the UCL, there's literally no reason for him to stay. Because let's look at the timeline. So, first season, we were mid-table at some point when Coman got sacked. He got us. We finished second. The next year, it gets a very good Madrid team who won the double. We won the league. And this year, Somehow, some way, with some kids, old heads, and guys from alone, you win the UCL. There's nothing to prove for. You're already a legend. Your legend is going to be even bigger if you make sure that we win the UCL. And as Paul said a while ago, the, the toxicity of the media, of our own fans, it's not worth all the tr- all the trouble, all the stress, and all this. He can walk away. Yeah, I won't blame and- him. It's, it's tough being a Barca manager. Even Pep, like he he left for those reasons. Yeah. Okay, so, so hold on, wait, hold, hold on, no, no, hold on. Let me begin out and do so indubitably. Do you think that Javi still leaves? Um, no matter what happens, um, with Barca, he he'll, he'll still leave. Okay, so the idea is that if if Xavi wins the Champions League, is what you're saying? Because if Xavi, yeah, so, 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 I people believe that no matter what, he's going to leave. So, do you think there's any scenario that will make Xavi change his mind? I I don't think Xavi's I don't think Xavi's leaving at the end of the season if he wins the Champions League or if he doesn't win the Champions League unless unless Barca get knocked out against PSG. Because like the at at the time when Xavi made his decision, we were absolutely horrible. There was a threat that we were going to finish outside of the top four. That's how bad we were. It wasn't sure that we were going to win against Napoli. So the circumstances that exist now and the circumstances that existed then are completely different. Now, I'm hearing that, you know, if Xavi wins the Champions League, you know, he could basically use it as a big FU. But, I, you know, if you win the Champions League and you have a young team, why would you leave? You know, th- like... If Xavi was told, you know, at the beginning of his, like, uh, when he started managing Barca, that, like, mm-hmm. you're going to win a Champions League after your second year, why, w- why would you leave after your second year? Uh, no, 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 because, you see, so, in MCC, I see both sides. For the one side, he, he leaves because you've given me so much stress. This is the biggest F you to all the guys who have given me unwarranted criticism and stress is that I leave, I'm out, UCL, boom. What, what can you say? Unblemished. That's the biggest F you. But the other side, though, is this is Javi's dream job. Exactly. So, the- so obviously, Javi may want to be managed, but Javi, no, this is his dream job. This is like, this is his dream job. Like, what? like, now, I think he might have taken the job a bit too early and maybe wanted some more experience, but literally, yeah. he did Laporte, because Laporte did the help and he did it, he made it solid. So, for Javi, he's like, bro, there is no other job I'd want as a manager. This is my, this is, I'm coaching yeah. my boyhood club. Why would I want to do anything on, else? On, on like a personal level, I understand like why Xavi would like, you know, look, if he wins the Champions League, then he has all the leverage. He could like kind of manage, you know, where he would want to in Europe because he has that, you know, leverage. He's won a league, he's won a Champions League. But if mm. we're just talking about what's best for Barca, what's best for Barca is Xavi staying. For a couple of seasons until you know Barca gets settled and then someone who's actually going to be the manager to take Barcelona to the next level comes in but I think it would be a mistake for Xavi to so leave. okay so 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 you don't think that a flick a Nagelsmann a Rafa Marquez let, no, let, let's put Rafa Marquez out of there yeah. a flick or a, or a Nagelsmann who have more experience than Xavi yeah. can actually elevate this younger team with more experience because Barca, Barca are broke. That's the thing. Barca are broke, and they might not be able to handle the the requirements of a flick, the requirements of a Nagelsmann. But a Xavi understands the situation. You know what I mean? He he's he's like he understands that like Barca can't sign anybody. You know that it's gonna take time, and he understands this so much that he's playing young players. And I I don't know like the I don't I don't know enough about Flick, you know, I don't know enough about Nagelsmann. I think a lot of it is just, you know, hype in my opinion. Um. So yeah, I don't I don't think the 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 step. Oh, you know? so so wait, Paul. Yeah, Paul. 
this people have to think about La Masia. Xavi is the perfect, the perfect coach for talents in La Masia. With Flick, um, it's not about if he, they play or not. It's just that there is a reason why La, so many La Masia players play in Barcelona, but then they don't have as much room in the rest of Europe because those La Masia players are specialized to how Barcelona want to play football. Um, if you, for example, look at the youngsters in La Fabrica Real Madrid, uh, Real Madrid's, uh, oh, however it's called, I don't mm. remember the name right now, the translation, um, co- co- it's called La Fabrica. No, almost none of them play at first team, but a lot of them end up in, in, in teams in Europe, mid-table or even top clubs, like Milan, like Real, like, like uh, it also happened with City and like it's a, a lot of people. Would Flick be able to, um, who is a manager that values physicality a lot and works on on the physical level a lot, would Flick be able to replicate a good job, the good job he did at Bayern, for example, which is why everyone wants him or, or values him, uh, with those kids? Because he's not going to be able to sign as many people. They, he has to, to rely on La Masia. Will La Masia be able to answer him? I don't know. Because like, what, I don't what, what, that's yeah, good. I mean, that's a good question. Would because Flick start a Flick is more... Flick would, Flick, there's no chance of Flick would start a Kabarsi or Nagelsmann would start a Kabarsi because they don't have the framework uh, that Xavi has on how La Masia works and how to integrate young players from La Masia into Barcelona. And then, like, too, where, and then too, where Hansi Flick, he more, he more so likes those, you know, technical, aggressive players. Steroid abusers, that's what yeah, he wants. Yeah, he dumb type of players. He's not really a, about that technical, you know, type of play, type of play. That's that's the problem with that's the problem. So so hold on, let me quickly take this Dubinsky's guys. Um so where we are right now. Shout out to your boy um Daddy Us. Even them bomb bomb cooked Alfonso Mavis. Yamal's next. Shout out to Daddy Us. Oh, Daddy Us. Shout out to Daddy Us, man. Daddy Us, you are. Yes. Why, why you know what? Mean? I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about <laughs> you, bro. Like, why? Like, uh, Paul, he's 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 a he's a he's a he's he's, he's, he's mentally TV. different, bro. Shout out to boy Shocks. Thank you for the Dubinsky Shocks. Thank you, bro. Now, if Basel wins the UCL, he stays. New stadium opening next season. You don't think he wants to experience that? And finances would have gotten better if we indeed win, so you can sign players. Why leave, bro? Why why leave? Because for me, I, I get the initial de- decision, and I get that, because we've, we've all been there. We, we, we make an emotional decision. That's really thinking it through, and it's, and it's just through our emotions. But when you think it through, you're like, bro, why, why are you leaving? For what? Why, why, why are you leaving, bro? It's no point. That's what um, so, 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 Jogs again. Exactly. It's his dream job. If he wins the UCL with his youngsters and improved finances, there's a high chance he stays. Javi's, this Javi is in his dream job. This is what he wants to do. And he wants to do this long term. Where this, I want to now try to really build these guys for the long term. And I think Javi, what Javi, Javi's frustration was. Nobody had was winning the league last season. I was a rookie coming in, going up against a Real Madrid who were the defending champions. We beat the defending champions, Real Madrid, who had a stronger squad than us to the league title with a great defensive record. You can afford the next season where things do not look so great. So your criticism makes no sense when you look at our circumstances of what Spartan Mayu did, the injuries, the squad we have, and the young guys. But right now, look at the run we're on, and we're in a UCL game where, I don't care what anyone says, I think they're going to beat PSG. So I do believe that Bars are probably going to find themselves in a UCL semis with a team that has a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old. So Javis' frustration was like, bro, what the hell are you talking about? Do you know? Like, and I've said this many times, I've been watching Barca since the mid-90s. This is the first time that the Barca do not have a single superstar in their team. A true, actual top tier superstar from Romario, Rivaldo, Dino, 
Messi, Neymar. They had at least one truly one guy who was considered one of the best players in the world. They don't have the, they don't have that. So every other Barca manager who since the mid nineties, since the Van Hal era in the nineties, have had at least one sorry, Rivaldo, one guy who and Bas Javi, I'm not working with I don't have any of these guys. Even our bombers loser sentence had Messi. I don't have anybody. <laughs> I don't have a bond. Like my so-called superstar player is Yamal, who is 16 years old. And if none of that, it's, it's, it's another guy who lives in a hospital who's 21 years old in Pedri. So I think that it's one of those things where Barca fans and even the media will be like, you know what? Yeah, I think we're probably a bit too harsh on Javi. And I think now that he said, I'm now leaving, I now look at what the team is doing. They're like, wait, hang on. All right. Yeah, I think we should, we have to still criticize because that's what we have to do. But criticize within context of where this club is at, which is in a very, very delicate situation. So I again. Question, H -H, about this. Go for so it. Then are we assuming that, so everyone here is, is agreeing on the only way, the only condition on Xavi is possibly staying, having a chance of staying, mm. is if he, if Barca does an amazing job, an amazing job in the youth field. Yeah, I think yeah, for, no, for, for, no, for me, yeah. I, I, I yeah. believe, again, look, there's the, the best chance of saying is they either go, so I'm saying champions, they lose in the final. I think it stays. So, see, semi-final, I don't know. If they reach the final, the, he's, I think whatever happens, I think, I think if they reach going. the initial final, he, he will stay. I think he's if still he going. So why do you think he's still going? I think he had enough. The Barca media on the surroundings is very toxic. Even Pep said that the pressure for a Barca manager is very high. So I, he, I think he said, I don't need that stress on me. I, I'm a great player. I have one... Uh, that's all I can. We are financially struggling. I need, uh, I need a club where I can buy players who suit my system. So I think he just, I think it's just too much for him. So I think he's gonna leave after the season and maybe take a year off and then find a new club to coach. Okay. So let me And I think. Uh, Xavi, yeah, Xavi has no money to spend. He has got all the free times there. He finds these young players from La Masia who actually work, so his talent ID is not that bad. So I think for a manager, he's actually a quite good manager. Yeah. And he does always get disrespected. Called Paul Atreides. I'm looking at you, Casey. So, and and yeah. Zeman. We I mean, maybe see Javi is leaving because Zeman and Casey keep on having Twitter spaces calling Javi a desert merchant. That's why he's leaving. So Zeman and Casey, that's on you. So let me yeah. so shots, boy. No, no, because we have to be answering. So shocks. It's deeper. It's also a strong shot of the board. And Deco, if he wins UCL, he has an upper hand for his demands. Yeah. I th look, I think it's true. Like if he wins UCL, he's like, no, oh, no, no. I'm the big dog right now. So I think 100%, if he wins UCL, there's no way he leaves. No way. So guys, last up here. So guys, so simple prediction, guys. So actually, before we give a prediction of this, I just need to ask a question. So it's an open question to all of you guys. And I'm pretty sure this is Paul. Chel Arsenal against Man City, is this a title decider? Paul, is this a title de 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 decider? Arsenal against City? I don't think so because even if Arsenal win, they can bottle it. If this if City wins, it's done. If Arsenal win it, it's not a title decider. Okay. So you so so you don't believe in Arsenal to go on and be decisive no. afterwards? No, you, it's funny. I think Arsenal will win. Uh, it's just that I, I think they will win the game. I just don't think that kills the title at all. At all. No. If City did, it it's over. Interesting. And so, 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 who else? I'm um, so nomad. So, so nomad. Arsenal City. Do you think this is a title to, to decide or not? No, this will go all the way. This will go all the way. But uh, yeah, it will still be important because uh, 
I think it will take, uh, you know, a bit of a psychological impact on both of them as regards to the UCL, because that that will carry over to the UCL in both their cases. So uh, not just for the league, but for the UCL as well. It will take. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so Alex, talk to me. Give me your score prediction on why. What what happens on Sunday? Remember, City are playing at the Crypt. City are playing at home. My score prediction is a one-one. Um, because I feel one-one. Uh, Why? Oh, uh, because um, uh, John Stones is injured, and I feel like uh, John Stones is like very important for City's build-up play. Um, no, he's not. No, 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 no. Sebastian, City fans have said he is. But I mean, yeah, I still f- no, no. I still feel it's 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 Rodri. But when I put that out, City fans said no. Stones is important for how they build up. So yeah, so I can't argue against City fans. He has most of the season. Uh, still, Samasi, I- I'm just saying what City because City fans attacked yeah, yeah, when I said yeah. Stones is not a big miss. So okay, so so, so Alex, so continue, cook, so cook, continue. Add, cook. So, so you're saying one one. So, so so you don't think either side will be able to decide the, the game, even though no. Alex, even though City are at home, and they know that a win will. Put them in the driving seat. I mean, City uh, been struggling, has been struggling with the uh, top six sides this season. So, and like they drew against your side, Chelsea four four. Like they couldn't even beat Chelsea. <laughs> so, like, I mean, I think it's gonna be one one. Is does like Arsenal's attackers injured? Like Martinelli is Martinelli injured, right? Or um, I think I think he maybe touch on goal. I'm not sure whether he's his fit. I mean, streets. What do we say? Is Martinelli fit? Streets talk to me. But continue. Like I still have questions about like Arsenal's attack. Like, um, like I don't know if they're very clinical, mm. and I wouldn't be surprised if they score one goal. But I think it's just gonna be like a one-one. You know? Um, Samasi, what happens with the game? Um, I think all the excuses I'm hearing from Man City fans is very pathetic from them. John Stones has been uh, uh, injured all season. Walker has been trashed or advantage City for him. By the way, did you know Walker has knocked up his ex wife? Yes. This dude, <laughs> this dude is a fucking embarrassment. He cannot keep it in a just some fucking idiot. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, so let's continue. continue. Right, right, so I told you, kids are watching, but continue. continue. <laughs> <laughs> and the, you know what? What is uh, the mistress always looks worse than the wife? By the way, the mistress looks always worse. So, Masi, than Masi, the wife. Masi, this is in, so this is in TMZ Hotspur. Okay, Masi, this is in the bloody TMZ. Okay, let's go to TMZ. Continue. Let's talk about the game. So, 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 what's happening? What's happening? This is going to be a frustration of fire. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I think the city opening it. I think all the excuses, all the oh, he's in there. That is not. It will not matter. Um, what we is fit. The Brown is fit, Haaland is fit. This, these are the three most important players. I think it, it will be a close game because Arsenal is also a better team than last season. So it's gonna be two one. I think they're gonna they they know how Arsenal play. They're gonna do it like last season. They're gonna counter just long ball to Haaland from the Bruyne and they're gonna win it. Um, what's it called? Um, Nomad, talk to me. What happens to the game? Yeah, three one Arsenal. Oh, yeah, three one Arsenal. I think, uh, yeah, I think, uh, uh, in the second half or uh, in a space of like 10 to 12 minutes, or uh, Man City's defense is going to collapse and wow. Arsenal is going to capitalize. So, 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 so they're going to beat City three one at the Etihad. Yeah, it's going to be. I mean, it should technically be one-one, but mm. uh, they they're just gonna completely lose focus of the match, and within like ten, fifteen, maybe twenty minutes max, uh, Arsenal will dump on them. the defense is going to fall apart. Wow! In the what, what do you mean, say? Lose focus. Uh, Walker and Stones. You can't trust them. They're oh no, no, no! They're not no. playing. No, Walker. They're, they're out. Walker and Stones well, are out. Yeah, exactly. Walker, exactly. But... So, okay, so so, so indubitably, indubitably, what you say? Yeah, I think uh, to your initial question, whether this is like a tile-defining game, mm. I don't think so. On Arsenal's end, no, on City's end, 
Like, if City lose this game, I don't think it's the end of the season for Man City because Arsenal have a lot of tough games to like to play. Yes, and you because know because they, they have to play Tottenham and Man United. Exactly. So you, you cannot trust Arsenal to win all of those games. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But then the thing is, I don't trust Liverpool to win all of their games either. Mm-mm. So, uh, but if Arsenal lose this game, I think it's over. I, I, I don't, I don't think you know. Uh, they've been f- they've been amazing this year. So it's not it's not like I think like uh, you know they're gonna. This is not a bottle. This is just like I think, you know, it's difficult to manage the Champions League. This is the first time they're gonna manage the Champions League and the Premier League at the same time. Mm-hmm. So it's tough. Um, but yeah, my prediction is that I think I think so so so, so basically so for so it's yeah. a must win for Arsenal. Arsenal have to win this game. Yeah, Arsenal absolutely have to win this game. And if they win this game, I think they're favourites. So, okay, so is a draw the end of the world? If they draw, is that not good enough? Do you feel like if not, they have to win? No, a draw. I, I think a draw is good enough. Like, I, I don't think, like, how do I say this? Like, I need to... Because winning, they've been Liverpool before. They've been uh, Man City at the beginning of the season. But it yeah. doesn't. This this is different because the pressure is on now. You have to win against Man City. So if I see some sort of like um, some sort of swagger, you know, that yeah. he can carry on for the rest of the season, some sort of momentum in that game, I need to see something defining. Then I can I can see Arsenal carrying that forward uh, for the rest of the season. But at the same time, Arsenal still have, still have like a their their schedule is way tougher. You know what I mean? Um, Tottenham is killing someone. Yeah, Tottenham is beating somebody. No, no, no. Basically, I, no, no for me, see, that's that's why I say I don't. That's the game. The, it's true. The reason why it's not a title to sell is because Tottenham are going to decide the t- title. Those games against Tottenham, yeah. I think that's going to dis- decide the title. So, and they're not uh, winning for you. Elijah, what, what are you saying, bro? What, what happens in this game? HH, why have you been dodging me this entire time? Why? Why have you been dodging me? Because, because, because I'm because, because I'm emotionally unstable. Because oh, I'm I'm very keep emotionally keep unstable. HH, me too. Shout to Inspector HH. Oh, Elijah. Hey Elijah, send me that. I was like, why is this guy not coming to me? Like, what's going on? Is he scared of something? Like, what's going on? I'm not understanding. He had a long day. He had a long day. Elijah, let him be. Him and I are depressed. (laughs) Very depressed. I just just came back from watching uh, 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 Zach Steffen dunk on on Hugo Ilaris two hours ago. This guy, it was pretty peak. It was pretty peak. Um, HH, I'm not going to lie to you. I want to draw, personally. I don't I care what you want. I know. Man. What is going to happen? There's there, there's what you want, and there's what's actually going to happen. What is actually going to happen? Let's be let's be realistic. This game is at the Etihad, and the Etihad, no walker, no stones, no walker, no stones. I don't I don't give I don't give two rat tails. If Arsenal comes into this game highly complacent. You're going to get cooked. I would expect Man City to pull out a 2-1 win, but I'm not surprised if Arsenal gets a smash and grab like last time. Get like get in, get out. In my opinion. Like if I'm Arsenal, I'm not there to try to go and and oh yeah, we're gonna go and score three. No, like make the game difficult for them. Like, make the game difficult for Man City. The thing with Man City is when they're playing certain clubs, the reason why Man City, say, for example, struggles at Anfield is because Liverpool makes the game complicated. The reason why uh, City struggles at, say, um, Tottenham is because Tottenham's style of play is too complicated for for City. Mm. Arsenal, you need to go into this game and make it ugly. Make it ugly. And And then take a chance. Smash and grab one, they'll get out of there. In my opinion, I want, I, I would like to, if, you know, realistically, it's either 2 1 City or a 1 0 Arsenal, but I would want to draw. Um, no, 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 no. Give me, you have to, I'm sorry, I'm a Sith. Absolutes. What's, is this, what's your, what's your final score? 
I'm going uh, Arsenal 1 0. Wow. Okay. Barry, what do you say? It's going to be a good one. Uh, it's going to be like a, a close one, though, because we know how uh, we know how intense and the stakes of that game. But I think CDR are going to do it. They have more experience, and it's hard for me to to see like a, a, a back to back to back a three P winning Premier League team lose focus in a game of, of such a magnitude. Yeah, so I'm gonna say two one or three one. Arsenal are two, very two, two City. So you say City win two one. Yes, two, one. yes, yes. But um, even if they have a bad day, I still think it's gonna be a draw. I don't, I don't see Arsenal winning at the Etihad. And also, uh, if you're, uh, one last thing before you go to the next, uh, remember mm. um. The game in the Emirates earlier this season. Yes, I think City are going to be motivated because, like, the are oh, the for players, sure, yeah, the players, yeah. Be because ready. I mean, like, are you saying that City are going to lose to Arsenal twice in the same season? Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Um, um, zombies, what are you saying, bro? Zombies. Yeah, two one, uh, Man City. Like what uh, Barry said, after what happened at the Emirates, you can tell they're going to have like a lot of motivation. So, 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 so you're saying that no stones. No Walker, no KDB, and they're still going to beat Arsenal. KDB is fit. They say KDB is fit. Yeah, you'll be there. Oh, it's play. Okay, okay. Oh, but no, I, I, look. Even if they don't have a Stones or a Walker, which is a, which is like a huge miss, it, they, they still should have no problem beating like Arsenal. But like what Elijah going off what Elijah said, like if I'm Arsenal, your best bet is to just. It's just like literally just win this game. They have to because keep in mind, Arsenal is one point above Man City. And also too, like what Nomad said, if this is a draw, I literally this this wouldn't this wouldn't hurt either team. They could just write mm-hmm. this out to the end. So but but but, but, so, but you're saying two one to city. Yeah, two one to city. Uh, and Paul, what are you saying, bro? Talk to me. Mm, the scoreline, I would say. I don't know why I have the feeling Arsenal are going to get this one, but they always disappoint me. But anyways, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to go with a 1-2 Arsenal. I think I'm going to go with a 1-2 Arsenal. Wait, so, honestly, wait, 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 1-0. No, 1-2. Oh, okay, two one. Okay, okay, two one. Okay, they they play at they play at the. No, 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 no. But you're right. You're right. One two, one two. Yeah, one two. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So one two. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to to put this next question forward. I don't think we're just playing here the Premier League. We're playing the UCL. Imagine if City win Arsenal, win against Arsenal. In their minds, the players are gonna be fucked. Like they're gonna be, they're gonna be. We just we might have lost the, the league, and then you got the Bayern game. You got the UCL. Arsenal are out. But imagine if Arsenal win against City. They won twice. And so, wait, wait, okay, so, so, okay, so, 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 you think that it will mentally mess up Arsenal no, if they lose? Arsenal, City. Imagine being City and knowing that even if you beat Real Madrid, you are very possibly because I, I, I can see Arsenal going uh, mm. to Bayern, but we'll see, we'll see. It's a, it's a matter of form. Imagine if Arsenal win against City. They're going to feel like, shit, these guys won the UCL last year. We've won against them in the league. We can do this. Oh, no, 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 no. I think no. No, it's... This is a point. Arsenal beating City at Etihad would be... I don't think it's going to be a title decider. From a mental point of view, if Arsenal beats City at Etihad, I think that could be a pivotal moment in the title race because of them beating City in their home ground. So, f- and the fact that beating them in their home ground and beating them twice, I think it would be huge from a penal point of view. See, if City win, and you're looking at their fixtures where it's only Tottenham that's a difficult fixture, look at Liverpool and as fixtures, I think a City win puts them right there to yeah. win this, this league if they win this game. But because this is really the only tricky game. So... You lose against Arsenal twice. And all the seasons, you've relied on, on having that Premier League there. You had that mm. tranquility in your mind. Now you've lost to Arsenal twice. You have Liverpool also fighting. It's like the final boss for City, right? One year it was Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. And then suddenly it was Arsenal. But you, but Liverpool wasn't there. And now it's Liverpool and Arsenal. And then you have Real Madrid in the, in the port of... Like, <laughs> it's all the, all the bosses for City. So imagine... 
your city, you lose that game. Uh, and, 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 and now you have the quarterfinals against Real Madrid. I think that defines the city season. I, that defines the season of both. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, so so my, my thing before we... So I'm going to... I'm going... I'm, I'm sticking with what I, I, I've stuck with. Man City to win 3-1. I think that's a good, good game, back and forth, but I just feel that City know that this is too good of a chance to miss out on. Now, if Arsenal win, I'll be very surprised. I'm like, wow, Arsenal, you've shown up. But I feel for City knowing what's at stake and knowing that this is a great opportunity to do for in a row, and this is a pivotal moment in the title race, not a title decider, but a pivotal moment, I think City are going to be top of their game. And especially knowing that they've already, that as have already beaten them, they're going to be even much more laser focused, take them fully seriously right now. A lot more seriously than they took them before they lost at the Emirates earlier this season. So I just think because of that, I just feel City's experience and the weapons they have, they will eventually run out. And I think they're going to be 3 1 winners. So we asked the streets. So the poll said um, 6% said they had no idea what will happen, 21% said they draw, 25% says an Arsenal win. 48% says that it is going to be a W for City. Guys, mm -hmm. remember, this is going to be on podcast form, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. We're going to see you tomorrow, guys. What's up? Samas, what are you saying? Our next 50 UCL games. When do UCLs going to start again? Two weeks. I think it's in two weeks. I, oh, I think it's April 10th. <laughs> God. So guys, it's been so. Awesome. So guys, I'll see. You. Remember, I'll see you for Arsenal yeah. City post match. One love. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Hello, my friend.